Yo, what's up, Zist? <clears throat> Thanks for the goo luck. How's it going? Yo, how's it going, April? It's the weekend, that is true. It's Friday. That's a that's a song. Very educational. Tells you about the order of the days of the week. Yeah, I hope everyone has a nice weekend. <clears throat> Well, today is the day that I clutch it out. <clears throat> the last couple of days I've gotten some pretty good runs, so. Certainly a possibility. Uh, one wink. Ah, uh, yeah. It's always awkward. You kind of get like stuck on that. There's like a hole in the ground, which the ground is actually the ceiling. But if you run at the edge of it, Link will kind of get slowed down because he kind of he doesn't fall into it, but uh, stumbles a bit. Hey, what's up, Diesel? Good luck with the mid. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, let's not get things confused though. A mid 42 minute time would be pretty good. That's what we're looking for. Honestly, at this point, I kind of want a 42 2x, but. Small steps. <clears throat> and if I get, you know, the big PB, then that's all well and dandy oh, hello anorak what's up block math oh how's it going mace my bad Wumi. here I'll, I'll start it from the beginning so that you can't get spoiled have a good night onyx thanks for stopping by Onyx, are you like Giga Normie now? With the sleep schedule? Hello, Trash Fire. What's up, Ty? Hello, Amonoso. I am. Welcome in. Thank you all for the good lucks. Friend just told you they had 69k hours on Spotify wrapped. Spotify wrapped is like, <clears throat> it's only the, the year, right? It doesn't give you total stats. Oh, hello, Vanel. Let's see, right there, that's not it. Uh, 248, yeah. Time zones. Well, hope you enjoy watching. Oh, also have a good night. <laughs> hey, maybe I'll be streaming when you wake up. Probably not, though. Oh, hello, Neil. Is that the all dungeons gamer? Tears of the Kingdom, of course. You gotta specify that one. <clears throat> Yeah, thank you for the six month resub. Hello, Alex. Remember me? I'm not new. Look, man. <laughs> I can tell you're not new because you don't have a first time chatter. But uh, there are a lot of people who have sent messages in this chat box. Hey. 
So of course I remember you. <clears throat> That's right, I remember every single person who types in this chat. I have what they call a perfect memory. It's so perfect I forget to do the... Uh, the tricks that I say I'm gonna do like five seconds earlier. <clears throat> like the thing. I'll, I'll say like, okay, I'm gonna do it. This time. And then I just mash through the dialogue. Oh, hello, crazy. Yeah, just, uh, just don't, you know, do the same thing what from yesterday. Oh, hello, Midwino. Yeah, no, it's like written in this, written on the screen in like big letters. And then, see at that point, it's like not even me not remembering. It's just me not. I'm not paying attention to my surroundings because you've got the video game and the video game is uh it's the same every time well it's not the same every time but the hands know what to do right muscle memory you just you just go uh and then there's the chat box the chat box is always moving it's always different so that you pay attention to. Anything else on the screen is like, doesn't really matter, right? If it's not, if it's not different, why would I check? And so I've got this giant notepad open that says eat attack up food, but why would I pay attention to that? <laughs> oh, hello, Maria. What's up, Binguini? Low Takei, you remember yourself? That's good. You carries that fragile sword, a link. Raru placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? Hello, Amco. Hello, Fa. I'm back from thinking about the gloominess of the heat death of the universe. Well, welcome back. I hope you were able to reconcile with the fact that someday all of this will be gone. But not in our lifetime. Oh, hello, Cuckoo. Thanks for the good luck. Happy Friday, how? Hope you enjoy the weekend. What's up, Nisa? I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty well. About to get into some runs. Let's see how Cog Skip goes today. I should probably, like, warm it up before but at the same time a new day who knows what's gonna happen sub 40 today you never know anything's possible if i say sub 40 is impossible somebody's gonna do the I told you so when sub 40 happens. <clears throat> I mean, that's going to happen anyway. But I'll try my best to get sub 40. You will not be on GG to K. Well, actually, isn't that... Wouldn't that be lonelier than the alternative? Right, if everything else is gone but you're not, then... I don't know, I feel like that would kind of suck. It's the first of the month, that's true. 
guess what emote is now tier one and which emote is not tier one anymore. That's right, we're festive around here. P5 Santa. Is back. Uh, and I... We'll call that second try, even though it was technically third, but like, at least I didn't do the jump slash for two of them. Graduated to green belt, let's go. GG. Green's a, a good color. I mean, hey, I chose green for my my backdrop today. Oh, the double branch. <clears throat> Easy. Green... Wait, what? <laughs> okay, that's... That's funny. Thank you, smart detection. <laughs> Auto mod is a mystery. Hey, what's up, David? Green for the year of Luigi? Is it that year again? Luigi. It's actually very toxic. Mm -hmm. That's why it's green. Green for like poison. But wouldn't that be purple? Kind of. I feel like green could also be. Green's like acid. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, that one I dropped down way too soon. What was that strat? Uh, it's called wing flip. Where you flip a wing to get a, like a full damage cancel, kind of. Because you can grab onto the wing as it's like vertical, and that will reset the height that Link will take fall damage from. So you can land on a second wing. And it's basically the other, like the Temple of Time Void Out strat, but on steroids. Yo, what's up, J-Dude? So, if I manage to land the wing properly, then... Um... I would... Be able to warp all the way back up to the top island. And then from there... Fly a wing down to ascend instead of having to like run up the cave. Yeah, exactly. And the problem is that there's this like autosave trigger because the game doesn't want you to just like die out of that first cutscene or like the diving cutscene. And so, once you drop down far enough, it'll autosave automatically, and that will set your respawn position to, like, just outside the water. 
on the stairs. And so you need to fly the wing high enough to avoid that <clears throat> and then dip down after you've cleared that. So it's not the easiest maneuver. On top of the wing flip itself being pretty scary. Hello, pomegranate. The gaming prime. How's it going, Sledgen? Yeah. Oops. Uh, one thirty five is not great. one of those like I could no way Menduino is now green wait what is the progression of the belts were you an orange belt before is there an orange belt Uh, but yeah, it's like I could reset that and try to get a better intro time. The thing is, and it makes sense to reset on a bad intro because of how long this cutscene is. So it's like you kind of want the runs that you continue to be good. It's actually red, orange is after red, but you did so well you skipped it. Hey, GG. Oh, hello, DNF. Do I prefer Breath or Tears? Uh, Breath of the Wild. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? And... The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Zelda. Yeah, that's mostly because of the cutscenes. Um, well, okay, I mean, there's a bunch of things. Basically, the cutscenes... Definitely detract from Tears of the Kingdom's fun, I guess. Um, the tricks themselves, like, I prefer wind bombs. But uh, at the same time, it's not like the tricks in Tears of the Kingdom are that bad. Removing the fact that you have to have these really long resets where you just don't do anything and then the other big thing I would say is the boss rush because I think Blights and Calamity is a really cool part of the speedrun and in Tears of the Kingdom you don't really have that because you just chuck rubies at the army and then do one fight that on 1.0 you just zuggle so it's three flurry rushes. Um, yo, what up, beer? How are you today? You just learned today that beer is fizzy. See, I read that as fuzzy. And I was like, what? What does that mean? <laughs> you 
You're not? Are you sure? I think Mario has something to say about that one. <clears throat> You get two random shiny Litwick in the span of 30 seconds. I do not know. Yo, what's up, Jesse? <clears throat> Thank you for the four month resub. Yeah, the, um. man was that gonna work uh i'm gonna practice this Because, like, my timing is super far off. I don't know why. Just one of those days, I guess. Where the muscle memory does not line up. It has expired. It kind of expired, like, yesterday. Like, it was working at the beginning pretty well. I was getting these first try cog skips, but then, um... Must have run out of steam or something. Just like not jumping at the right time, I think. Maybe I just need to jump sooner. Yeah, I mean, the unfortunate part about this speedrun is that you cannot continue unless you know how to do this trick. And there are actually a lot of those in this run. Also, I think my gyro is kind of complaining a little bit. Like, it's set. So if I do this, it will kind of creep left a little bit. Which is... Not ideal. I thought it was going to be too far right, but that will probably be fine. Because it hasn't been added. Wait, didn't I click the thing? Emote is already enabled. 
<clears throat> I did refresh the on-screen chat. Uh... And I just reloaded my my chat, and it's not showing up. So I think usually if it's unlisted, it still shows up. But I guess not. Yo, it's Abzeki. Uh The runs are pretty. Well, I mean, they just started, so <clears throat> we'll have to see. I guess so far, I haven't gotten too far in, but there is plenty of time. My bad, Wumi. I'll, I'll shut up next time. <laughs> Maybe my talking was <clears throat> causing your game to lag. What glitch is this? Um, is on 1.0, if you do a climb jump at certain spots on the wall, You'll clip through the ceiling. Yo, no way. Wait. Okay, I got I got bamboozled. <laughs> I wonder when the next VIP redemption is gonna be. Who knows? 585,555. That's a that's a large number. 118k though. Not too shabby. You think MZ is sandbagging? No way. <clears throat> that's a big that's a big call. To be fair, I only bump it by like 10k. Um, actually, how quickly do you get 10k? It's like a pretty unlikely scenario that it's gonna get redeemed that often. Because it is, you know, a, a fairly large number of points that you need. All you, all you scrubs, I'm at infinite. That's right. So the sideways eight. I could redeem VIP as many times as I wanted. <clears throat> Hello Pickles. Also hello Brentis. Infinite, those are rookie numbers. Oh, no, and how many uh how many channel points do you have? How many high fives? Two <laughs> Two times infinity. I was expecting infinity plus one, but I was thinking too small. Yo, what's up, Abel? Thank you for the good luck.
you have uncountably infinite infinitely many points yes well if it's uncountable then yeah who cares <clears throat> See, for me, I can use the points. Toxic. Maybe. Can you believe they put infinity stones in this game? Practice makes perfect. You just should never doubt practice. It'll reward you in the end. That's right. If you practice a trick, you'll get it first try in the run. Guaranteed. This is French, <clears throat> and yes, it is slightly faster, uh, but only by 0.7 seconds. <clears throat> what is Lethal Company? I've seen a lot of people playing it, but... It is a company that is lethal. Well, that's a lot of them these days. We'll work you to the bone. <clears throat> oh, hello, Psalmness. Thanks for the good luck. It's kind of like Phasmophobia. Oh, I've played Phasmophobia, like, once. <clears throat> it was on sale. I bought it and then played it one time. It was, it was all right. Um, I feel like <clears throat> it was the kind of game, like there was a lot of mechanics that I just didn't really, like it took a bit to, to know. And there's probably a lot that I, didn't know. All right, uh, we'll try it. It's only like four seconds of time loss, hopefully. <clears throat> you just grab items that you can sell and bring back to the ship. And there's monsters, I see. So is the lethal company the, um, are those the monsters and they're lethal because they'll kill you? Or is it actually a, a company that you're working for? Yo, what's up, Acid? Thanks for the good luck. Can you still do this if you're on one heart? Um, I didn't do the thing. <clears throat> Rip 10 frames. But... The idea here is that you... Should be able to auto... Or you should be able to save. Like a manual save. And then reload. And it'll still put you back up at the top. I haven't tested it, but I think it works. That way. From what I've seen people say in the Discord. Uh, but like reloading is a little bit slower than 
voiding out. Which is understandable. There we go. Hey, what's up, Veggie? Thank you for the 11 months. How's it going? If the text box skip saves time here... Wait, which text box skip? Is this gonna kill me? No. Like, after the TOT cutscene. Uh, okay, so it did work. Oh, I guess I can actually tell how much time this loses. After TOT. I don't know which... What you're talking about. That was a little bit bad. Yeah, 104. That's pretty slow. It's basically the same as Perpad with opening the map. After TOT. You open the quest log instead. Oh, um, I don't know. How are the runs? They're just starting. <laughs> so not too good, but we got time. <clears throat> oh, I didn't really know. It existed, so we'll see. You've just been doing both anyway. Yeah, I've been forgetting to do the one with the the map. But that one saves like 10 frames or something, so maybe the other one does as well. What if you Terra type Shedinja to electric and give it a balloon? Then isn't it immune to everything? Um status effects? Like if you poison it or something. Or weather. So, sandstorm. But it is going to be immune to a lot. Give it sunny day. I think that kind of is tech. That I've seen people... <laughs> Maybe not quite use, but um, at least theory craft. <clears throat> oh, have a good night, Neil. Thanks for the good look. <clears throat> Hello, Noroya. You milk and almond, oh boy. But yeah, in terms of that that question, what was it? My favorite milk? I don't really know. What are the different types of milk? Are we talking like whole milk, 2%? Was oh, that why somebody said 2%? Uh, I guess there's like almond milk and oat milk. The non-dairy things. I haven't really tried those, but I assume they're not going to be as good. There's chocolate milk. Um, you know, from the, the chocolate cow. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know. Probably chocolate milk. But I feel like my standards for chocolate milk have gone up. Really? It blew up in my face. I was only duping two. Um, that's all right. I think I was maybe dead. Well, if I did like a an FTC and landed on the wing, that could have still worked. I think because I would exit the cold area soon enough. So the problem I'm having right here is I think that I'm like too high up. Like, is that going to... That didn't blow up. I definitely thought that would blow up. Try this one again. Oh, True Moo. Yeah, I definitely remember True Moo. And it's... Uh... Yeah, I don't think I would drink it. <clears throat> no, it is. Okay, so maybe the the play is probably just like wait a little bit before you Yeah, as long as you wait, you probably are not going to explode. Do people actually enjoy Pilk? Um, no, I think that's kind of just for the meme. It's not bad, though. Like, we tried it at uh, GDQ. And it was fine. I mean, like, cream soda is a thing, right? And like um, an ice cream float, for instance. So it's not actually as like weird as it sounds. It it tastes fine. It's I mean it's not the same, but it's not it's not actually bad. You'd have to like. So I think some people tried warm, but like warming it up to try and make it like even weirder. Uh, and then Korox actually tried Baja Bilk, which is Baja Blast and milk. And then he chugged it. And I did not.
Is that... I, I mean, at the end of the day, it probably would have been not great, but not too bad. How different is it than a root beer float, really? It's, uh, it is different, but it's, like, it's just a worse version. Goes to make pilk. Hope you enjoy it. Is there a way to get back to 1.0 from 1.2? Um, if you have the physical version of the game, then... There is. Yo, what's up, Clouded? Bah, Bilk, you don't... You don't enjoy yourself some... Milky Baja Blast. Oh, I saw some tweet about, like, Mountain Dew is doing a thing. Trying to, like, advertise in Twitch streams. You're intolerant of lactose? I think maybe you should just have a more open mind. <clears throat> um, but yeah, if you have the physical version of the game, you can factory reset your Switch to get 1.0 back. But obviously, that's a pretty extreme step. Um, but yeah, it's like if you want to speedrun on 1.0, then that works. Uh, but yeah, you'll, you'll make sure to, or you'll want to make sure to turn off auto updates. After the reset and, uh, also... Back up your saves. If you have any save data that you would want to keep around. Or you could homebrew your Switch if you have a Switch that is, well, I mean, you can homebrew like any Switch, but some of them are easier than others. And I have a homebrewed switch, so I can, yeah, delete update data and all that jazz. But not everyone has access to that. What is that? Because ideally, you'd want like a version 1 switch. What is this brewing of the home you speak of? I, um... <clears throat> am not at liberty to say. Oh, you think, think of it like your cup of coffee that you brew at your house, you know? Home brew. How do you get the vanilla game, though? Hey, what do you mean? The vanilla game. Dude, this would be so fine. Like, this intro, like, skip would be totally okay if you could just skip this cutscene. It's kind of like the problem with everything. Dude, imagine how different this game would be if they just gave you the option to skip. Because then... 
do? How do you know our name? It'd be so much nicer. And then it's like, yeah, um, you do the intro out of balance and then immediately go into the run. Should be apartment brew. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Ten brew. Unfortunate. you couldn't watch the intro well you could if you wanted to it's not like it forces you to skip it so uh, if you were feeling adventurous you could watch it <clears throat> lose yourself four minutes game makers should optimize games for speedrunners uh i mean not necessarily i just don't think they should um make decisions like this where almost every single cutscene is skippable, except for this first one that is four minutes long. Because, like, I mean, the, yeah, the games should be made primarily for the, uh, the intended audience, which is, you know, people playing it casually. Uh, and then speedrunners will find ways to break it no matter what. Like, it's fine for games to be made with, like, speedrunning in mind. Um, but for something like Zelda, I don't <laughs> think they need to... really think about the speedrunners. In fact, they should think less about the speedrunners. Because they're, um... I cannot do this jump today. Okay, I will jump sooner. That is my game plan. Uh, but yeah, it's like a lot of the changes they... They made that I think, or there are some changes that they made that I assume was to prevent like certain glitches. Um, just kind of made the game worse because, uh, there are things like the menu being sluggish that I'm pretty sure they did intentionally to thwart any of our menu shenanigans. And that's something that like even a casual player will notice. Uh, yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. Odyssey has tons of intentional speedrun skips. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad thing for games to do that. Um, 
and that's a different kind of game, right? Mario games are all about movement, and so obviously they're going to put in... Uh, spots where you can use that movement to great effect. Or you can be creative with it. And it's what makes Mario games so good to speedrun. I feel like Zelda games focus a lot more on these, like, glitches and tricks to get the time saves, whereas, um... Mario games are built around movement and all of that being very fluid. Yo, what's up, future? Anything big? Uh, explored on the glitch hunting side. Um, well, it kind of depends on how long uh it's been since you've paid attention. Tears of the Kingdom. There's definitely new stuff. I don't know if there's anything like super massive, but like Aero Smuggle is now a staple of 1.0 speedruns. Where Aero Smuggle was before only used for 1.2. In terms of like other glitches, there's like wheel warping, which is still being kind of explored. Link. But that could be Was very cool for all dungeons and longer categories. So easily against my power. Cannot save you from me. Yo, what up glitch? Careful, you might summon Andre. True. Yeah, it's like kind of a meme, but there's some theory crafting going on about skipping GSI using Robbie. Wait, what does Robbie do? Someone made a cutscene skipper for FF10. Yeah. I feel like the problem is um, cutscene skippers or cutscene removers aren't really going to be as accessible for a game like Tears of the Kingdom, right? It's on the Switch. I assume that means you wouldn't be playing on the Switch, or you would uh, have to have a like modded Switch to be able to use it. So it's kind of that's a little unfortunate. Also, like the scale of the cutscenes in like an RPG compared to Tears of the Kingdom, uh, it's very different. So I think people would be less willing to allow that.
yeah, there are mods already to like skip these cutscenes, but um, but it's not like it's allowed for the leaderboard, so. <clears throat> Let's see, Robbie's tutorial for the sensor is so powerful that it will warp you back out of GSI. Interesting. This doesn't do anything yet, but it's something. It'd be pretty fun if, um, Tears of the Kingdom had a way to skip GSI. <laughs> before, like, Breath of the Wild got Plateau Skip. Uh, jump sooner. Okay, that was good, other than the fact that it was the wrong direction, but... And I think that I jumped too soon on that one. Man. I am not on my game today. See, like, that is definitely jumping too soon. I wonder if there's a different spot I should stand, like, that would make this timing nicer. Because... Uh, I don't know. I think I'm just... not... I'm not on it at the moment. That'll happen. Let's hope I know how to do everything else on the run. <laughs> For those times that I'm able to actually perform the cog skip in a reasonable time frame. <clears throat> Snickers or Kit Kats? Hmm. Are these... See, the thing is, dude, American Kit Kats are just worse than Kit Kats made elsewhere. Uh, but Kit Kats are pretty good. Snickers are good too. I feel like I'd probably go with the Snickers if it's an American Kit Kat. <clears throat> Yo, it's a Ren. The superior chocolate. I feel like the chocolate quality doesn't matter as much for a Snickers. Because there's more stuff in it. Whereas for Kit Kat, it's like... You got the wafer and then the chocolate. And the chocolate is just... Not as good. Twix is better anyway, so who cares? I mean, there were two options listed. So... You have to pick between them. Or the options, it was Snickers and Kit Kat. Those are the two. Yep, 
Y'all should try eating a vegetable every now and then. Oh boy. What are you, uh... A healthy person? Hey, what's up, Trevsky? Thank you for the 40 bits. Yeah, Clouded is actually working for Big Vegetable. Trying to sell us on... It's good for you. But yeah, vegetables are, they can be quite good. That's true. Honestly, I don't really eat candy anymore. What about tomatoes? Tomatoes are great. Mid? Whoa. I feel like I wouldn't necessarily... Well, it's like, it depends on the usage, but tomatoes can be used to very great effect. Right, you put them in like a sandwich or a burger. I mean, they're required for like pizza to make your tomato sauce, your ketchup. As long as you don't have like, like a large kind of uh, wedge of tomato, uh, it's, it's good. Counterpoint spinach pizza. Wait, what are we? What does that counter to? Spinach pizza has no tomatoes? Okay, but who's eating spinach pizza? And do you mean like it doesn't have tomato sauce? It just has some other sauce? I mean, I'm sure it would be okay. It'd be fine. But... I don't think that's really a great counter to the fact that tomato sauce is the or is a key ingredient in most pizzas. Yo, what's up, LPE? Hope you're doing well. I see you found the Christmas spirit. <clears throat> Counter to pineapple on pizza. Any thoughts on pineapple pizza? It's fine. Um, uh, yeah. It's pretty good. Twitter.com micro celebrity MZ? No way. In my chat box, MZ Daisy? How's it going? Thank you for the goo luck. A lot of O's. 
In fact, I probably missed quite a few. How are we all? Well, pretty okay, other than the fact that I can't hit cog skip today, but otherwise, not bad. Oh yeah, happy December. Now, how many people in chat have not been subjected to Christmas music? by this point. You? GG. Not really. You haven't, but you dwell in a cave. See, that's me. It looks like you stream every day. Aren't your fingers tired? Um, no. I was confused. I was like, why is the timer so... I forgot to reset. And I don't stream every day. I stream all days except Monday and Tuesday. I mean, this is my job. Yo, what's up, Jamil? Hello, homunculus. She started the drive home from Thanksgiving. Wow, that's like immediate. Is there really, like, Thanksgiving spirit? Started November 1st, they don't waste a beat, yep. Because, like, Thanksgiving... It kind of feels like people treat it as already Christmas time. Obviously, you eat Thanksgiving foods, but it doesn't have the same kind of festivities. There are no Thanksgiving songs. Somebody should try and change that. I mean, like... If you come out with a banger, and then everybody plays it every single Thanksgiving, you could make mad money. I don't know what you would sing, but... You could win big. Yo, what's up, Section Z? <clears throat> gobble, gobble. Intriguing. There we go.
Don't people also do turkey on Christmas? I never do turkey ever. So who knows? No monkey percent in Tears of the Kingdom? No. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom actually switched up the rules for category extension, so it's a lot harder to to make those kinds of categories. Which I think is a good thing. There are a lot of A lot of dumb categories in Breath of the Wild. Um, which I mean, hey, you can run whatever you want, right? It doesn't have to be on the leaderboard. And so the leaderboard is more strict. But if someone wanted to, they could run uh, Monkey Percent or Butter Dog or whatever. Um, Oh, have a good nap, Brentis. Uh, it just wouldn't be on the leaderboard, which is, yeah, perfectly fine. <clears throat> Are there even monkeys in Tears of the Kingdom? I assume they still have monkey noises in Baron, but I have not gone to check. Oh, thank you, Acid. Yeah, I, I've been switching things up. I'll enable the point, channel point redemption at some point. I just, I have to figure out what's the best way to like, to give people options for this. Because I have a bunch of these colors. And so I need to list out the options. But there's like, Some of them are very similar. I don't know. No way. What's up, Andre? How are you doing? Oh, hello, Aqua. Kind of fell off hard. For real, for real. I... That's where the Don Dons are. a lot of monkey noises in Farron. I don't remember them from this game. I mean, I'm not really was paying too much attention, I guess. <clears throat> did I not play the game casually before speedrunning it? Wait, where did that come from? I I have my whole casual playthrough, actually, uploaded on the VODs channel. So if you want to watch it, you can head on over. There's a playlist with all of those of odds. Played through all of the shrines. All of the main quests. It was like three to four hundred Koroks. All without glitches other than you know, for science. For science and education of the chat box. It wasn't for personal gain, all right? I duped apples. I didn't dupe gems. <clears throat> yeah, I actually didn't speedrun this game until like a month after it came out. It 
dude, what is going on? I need to... Figure something out. Can somebody, like... Patch 1.0 cog skip somehow? Do you actually work? need a, a hot fix. <laughs> At this point, I mean, it's probably my hands. Can somebody replace my hands with a different pair so that I actually can do the trick correctly? Is Tears of the Kingdom dead already? What do you mean, dead? Uh, no. We're out of player five spare hands? No way. What about all the high fives? Those are like hands, right? You don't have any to spare? If you're okay being a lefty, oh, uh, never mind. I'm just kidding, of course. Thank you for the offer. But having spent my whole life... Uh... With my right hand being dominant... Uh... I don't think... I don't think it would work. I'd have to get used to it. Yo, what up, Karen? Can I... I can offer my Miku Gaming... Wait, Mega Miku Gaming hands? No way. I'll just switch games. Yeah, who wants to watch Tears of the Kingdom anyway? It's all about... Rhythm games. I can not really use chops. Okay, I can use chopsticks with my left hand, kind of. A little bit. Are you the right hand for 2P1C runs? I am, yeah. That was the arrangement. Tears of the Kingdom is a rhythm game. Arrow Smuggle Flight definitely is. It's just a very boring rhythm. Let me start the metronome so I can unmute it later. Is Mikey left-handed or just more? <laughs> well, it's not. It's not really the same for like video games, because you have to use both hands anyway. It's like if you switched up which inputs I have access to with the right hand, um, I would struggle. 
but like your left hand is already trained to do the inputs you're supposed to be doing. Honestly, I think the initial configuration happened because I sat down on the right. <laughs> yeah, when we started things up, I just I sat down on the right side, Mikey sat down on the left side, and then after that, it was normal. You keep it that way. Yo, what's up, Skittles? Well, thank you for the good luck, and thank you for the two-month reset. Oh, I need to... I need to make a video on 2P1C later. Because, like, 2P1C is a very good... It's a very cool, like, challenge run. And I don't think I did it justice by just uploading the like PB videos, but making like a an actual edited video that explains kind of the approach to it and how we were able to you know coordinate and stuff. Why Breath of the Wild has some pretty good options to make it like doable. Because like we do all of the or almost all of the hard tricks. Like, we didn't do Out of Bounds Castle, but it's not like we shied away from using Wind Bombs. Oh, is there a Pokemon called Mankey? He's so weird looking. Um, it's a monkey. And he's angry. Mankey. Oh, thank you. I wasn't sure if that was going to work. Actually, Mankey... There's definitely Monkey in there. But what's the other... There's always like a combination of two. Man plus Monkey? Is that really it? Is there always a combination? Maybe not, but it is very common at the very least. Technically, you've got like seal, right? And that's um, <clears throat> the classic. But. That guy doesn't look like a man. Yeah, I, I never thought of that, so who knows. Of course, new footage will be needed. Um, we might submit 2P1C for GDQ. I believe that was an idea, a plan of action. Wait, and then you've got Primate. And Annihilate. Prime? Oh, no way. It's because they were... They were referring to Twitch Prime. Which you all can use if you've got Amazon Prime. And you get a free subscription on Twitch. too early. Well, at this point, it doesn't really matter. It's kind of do or die. <clears throat> it's PR time. 
personal record. You're right, it is. Does a Prime sub give actual benefits to the streamer? Oh yeah, so basically Prime is like... Twitch is just like losing money by offering Primes. Because I get the money for the sub. Um, yeah, it's the same as a normal tier 1 sub. They kind of just pay it out of pocket. And it's one of those things where Twitch is probably going to get rid of primes at some point. That seems like a pretty likely situation. Oh, hello, Elixie. Welcome in. What about Mew? Uh, Mew. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, a fun exercise I feel like would be to try and go through all of the Pokemon and see where the names came from. is going broke i feel like i mean they've been like upping ads and stuff that's why you always get people complaining about ads in streams because they are running more of them to be more profitable well to try and be profitable because companies tend to not actually Do that as much as you would think. Yeah, so far, for me, they introduced this, like, this was a while ago, I guess, by this point, but there's, like, the ads incentive program, which is, like, kind of supposed to be, like, more consistent uh, revenue from ads for streamers. You just have to, like, run a certain density of ads. For the month. Um, and like, one of the options was... Three minutes per hour. Is that how it works? No. That sounds wrong. Three minutes per... Is it three minutes per hour? There was some number. Three is the... Three minutes. And I've just not... Like, I haven't upped it from there. And I don't plan to. You think it's three per hour? For some reason that seems low, but... Yeah, some people run more than that. And, I mean, hey, they pay you more money to do that, so...
We saw a pretty big streamer post their daily earnings and literally 99% of it was from running ads on cooldown. Yeah. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, the world record command, uh, no, emote, never got updated. It was kind of at a time where I feel like at this point it won't ever get updated, but, um, Yeah, it was at a time where a bunch of... Or, like, the world record was about to drop by a lot. Because it was the first record to happen with Bomb's first plat. And, uh, Bomb's first saved a lot of time, so... That was kind of a, yeah, a bit of a play. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was going to blow me up. I'll take it though. Yeah, 140. <clears throat> Thank you, protogenologic. Protogenologic. Maybe that's the, the parsing. I will do my best. Oh, was that the right number of... That was probably the, the right number of bombs, right? Also, I think I got two branches, which is good. sort optimization. I think the menu sorting there doesn't actually help that much because I think I've noticed uh, 257 is pretty alright. Uh, that later on I'm going to have to do a double Y tap to get back to wings. Something about the sort or like how I use items doesn't line up perfectly. Oh yeah, I was a little worried about that. Because I threw the... the bomb at a pretty high angle. And so there was definitely a chance for the bubble frog to jump into it. avoid snapback into the menu, except that you can have snapback on Y presses, which doesn't make sense, but 
is a thing. Uh, okay, so that's fine. Yeah, that's fine, just really slow. Yeah, I, my fingers are not moving. Um, they're not warmed up enough. And there goes the run. Yay. That's so fun. Fun and cool. Um, yeah, so basically my fingers were not ready to do Zuggle Overload. Uh, and that was the best run I've ever had. Which is cool. Which I don't even know what I messed up there. Honestly. Maybe... Oh, no, it probably just drops it, right? So that was a slow pause. Yeah, you can see it dropped Zuggle. So uh, that was just a late pause. On the last one. <sighs> yeah, I didn't want to say it, but like... Minus five out of send is nuts. <laughs> um, like that's crazy, crazy fast. It's one of those things where it's like, man. Like, it's just menuing. Well, let's try it again. Just pressing... And the thing is, it was kind of weird because I was messing up not just the the unpause pause. Because you're supposed to go like this, you drop some weapons, unpause pause immediately. But, um... And that I was messing up, which makes sense. But then I was also messing up like dropping and then switching to the other weapon to equip. It just wasn't moving the cursor at the right time. Okay. Oh wait, no, it's always supposed to drop the... Yeah, what am I talking about? It's always supposed to drop these, but it's supposed to also get me the arrow smuggle. Um, yeah, so I'm like duplicating weapons. Uh, you can see... Yeah, I, I like duplicated bomb shields and weapons and also bows to a point where the game doesn't really know how to handle it and so if you can see my bow is not actually there and this state is called arrow smuggle and it allows for some really fun tricks Yeah, you can do it on 1.0, but the setup is different. It requires a lot of zuggling. Or, I mean, there's a couple of different ways to set up Aero Smuggle and make it permanent. And this is one of them. This is currently the one I use, but there's like Shock Aero Smuggle if you're doing Amiibo, which would be even faster. 
but relies on having a topaz. Yeah, what's up, whodunit? <laughs> Thank you for the congrats. Yeah, I'll get another one soon. That was a that was a really good attempt though. Um, I'm gonna drop the bow and reload. Try it again. Just wanna like warm up. Kenjiko was talking about trying GSI shock air smuggle and all all pungents. Yeah, I guess I was thinking about that. That like you can do shock air smuggle. on 1.1, so if you were to run like a GSI any percent, you wouldn't. Oops. You wouldn't actually want to um, run it on 1.0 other than Zuggle overload being a lot more consistent than getting like a topaz. But at the same time, like, yeah, if you scan fast, then. And like the resets are gonna be a lot shorter, so it does seem more reasonable to do shock air smuggle for like just GSI any percent. The shock orb bounces in 1.1.1, so that'll be something. Oh, interesting. Should be good to go. Are there ways to do relay versions of games like Tears of the Kingdom where you can tag in and out people for certain sections? That sounds kind of fun. Uh, there actually is. We did it or um, all shrines in Breath of the Wild. Basically, you pass along a save using the like uh, Nintendo Switch Online has a an option to kind of like upload your saves. And so if you do that, everyone has access to the same like Nintendo account, then uh, you can all play on the same file. You just have to like download the, or like you have one person play the first part and then they upload their save. And then the other person will then download the save. And so you just keep doing that to pass things off. Yo, Dean, thank you for the prime. Hope you enjoy the emotes. And Alexi, thank you for the sub as well. I appreciate that. <clears throat> oh, 42, 45. Oh, no, that's correct. Sounds super fun. Yeah, it was a pretty cool run. Um, the only problem for me was that we had scheduled it for 
fairly far out. And so when the idea was first formed, it was like, oh, you know, while I was still running all shrines, but then I got my goal time and I was like, I'm done with all shrines. And then like a month later, I did the, the relay. So it was not quite practiced as much as I would have been. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty cool. Pretty cool idea. And there was some like strategizing of, oh, who is good at certain tricks? Like SCW is a big one. Because that's like the main thing you think of for all shrines, it's shrine coordinate warps. Because they're kind of a pain. Uh, and so, yeah, if one runner is better at doing SCWs, you'd want them to do as many as possible so you can like change up the route to you. account for that. Yo, beer, thanks for the thousand bits. What is that? I appreciate that. The hype train. Oh, I got a thing. I got a notification to tell me about the uh, gold. Huh? Huh? Emote that they added. B1K bits. I don't know. Does it pin a message? Like, if that was a message? Or that's like something different, right? It's a hype chat. Yeah, who knows? Could Breath of the Wild All Shrines be theoretically a lot faster? I I don't think so. Well, I mean, theoretically, yes, it could be a lot faster, but in terms of like viable routes, um, I mean, like take any percent. The best theoretical time, which is, you know, spliced with all these strats that aren't actually going to be used in runs, um, and it's a lot quicker. So if you do that for all shrines, you'd probably end up with, like, something crazy. Maybe, like, a three and a half hour run. I don't know. That could be an overestimate, but... Yeah, being human, definitely... impedes on our ability to go fast. I don't remember what my summon best was by the end. It was probably like a... 356, I want to say. Oh, hello, Lebrax. Doing pretty well. How are you? You can just pin bits now, I see. They like made changes to bits, I think. Somewhat recently. It'd be so much work to put together a BTT all dungeons run, yeah. It definitely is one of those things where it's like, they've changed a bit. I would say that, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot. I haven't really been too much of a BTT 
contributor. Like all the strats I do or did for um, the Breath of Wild BTT were things I was planning on doing in runs anyway. I think. Dude, if you watched a robot do all shrines, you wouldn't see them mess up Windblight Skip. I can guarantee you that much. Eh, pretty good. I'll take it. Slip down a little bit, but that's fine. Shouldn't it say 42-44? I guess. Uh, I'm too lazy to change it though. 42-45 looks better anyway. At the same time, it does have a lot of fours. Yay. Hello, Jiminy. <clears throat> hey, how's it going, Ollie? Thanks for the four months. I've actually been having pretty good luck on these tree branches. <laughs> Try getting a 44-44. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, unfortunately... I can't do that anymore. I missed my opportunity. I think Jiminy probably ate all of the branches. Unfortunately. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got to just like remove all of my PBs. Delete them and then upload a 4444. Puns are are out in full force. Uh, yeah, that should be fine, right? Mm, is that fine? Find out next time. Really? He bounced. I mean, at least, like, that's fine, right? It's just kind of annoying, because that was so close. If I didn't second guess it, it would have been fine. I will do the thing, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's December. You're right. GG's. How did, uh, how did it turn out? Do you want a beard reveal? Of course. I'll, I'll give you a beard reveal of myself if you... Do the same. <laughs> I 
I like thought about it and then was like, eh, no. Because I haven't tried like No Shave November in a while. Um, last time was probably in high school. But I did not bother. Hey, that does not look bad. That is pretty good. Are you going to keep it? Or is it gone? Haven't decided yet. Fair enough. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like No Shave November, it's like, um, if you're someone who has always just shaved, it's your time to to see whether or not you like it. Grown out. Non-stop shave oh. December. <laughs> That'd be too much. Did not go well. How long did you give it back then? Yo, what's up, Sabo? Mm. Oh, have a good night, Maria. Thanks for watching. Three months? Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever grown out a beard longer than... Actually, that's a good question. I, I don't know the longest I've gone without shaving. Yeah, and then there's like, my dad has probably not been clean shaven. My whole life, which might not be true, but it's like Probably not that far off. But hey, I guess um, your facial hair game has improved over the years. You're too lazy to shave except every one to two weeks. Yeah, I feel like for me, it like... I just don't like having facial hair. Oh <laughs> uh, wait, that was actually the split spot. I missed the split, which is fine. Beard gent. Gint. Yes, there we are. Streamer split. Well, it's too late. You can't really remind me after because I've missed it. And if I split late, then there's potential to get a fake gold on the next one, so I just skip the split. You can't do the splits IRL. Neither can I. <clears throat> I mean, 
mean, how many people can do that? All right. Okay, wait, so if I do this, presumably that means he's not going to give me the... He gives me the battery. Is that faster? Like, if you scare him, can you hit this? To make him wake up sooner? Because it's like a pretty big time loss. <laughs> that's faster? Okay, I guess that's good to know. I mean, I don't plan on scaring him. But, uh... Kind of a neat backup. Oh, is this new? Dude, I can't see it in my chat. I don't know why. I tried to reload, but it, it didn't work. Okay, but isn't there some case where you can't? Um, like, if you interact with the fan in some way, doesn't it lock you out of getting the battery? Is that like talking to it? I've never actually had that happen. I just see people like post about it occasionally. What's faster? Basically, there's a... Um, If you scare the construct, it will not, you won't be able to interact with it for a while, and so you lose a lot of time. It's like 10 seconds or something that you have to wait before you can talk to it. And so instead what you can do is hit the fan which will cause the construct to automatically talk to you and then wake up so you can then interact right after that. So it's a backup strat if you mess up, but um, backup strats are pog. If you try to pick up the fan, it locks you out. That makes sense. What is that? Oh, have a good night, Abel. Thanks for the good luck, and thank you for watching. How much slower is the fail-safe battery cutscene? It's like 20 seconds. Which is absurd, but uh, yeah. How fast can I type? What is it? The last typing test I took was like 70 words per minute, I think. That or 75. Either way, pretty slow. 
for um Well actually that's a good question. I, I assume it's pretty slow for someone who majored in computer science. But I've never really been a much of a typer. Yo, what's up, Mikey? Did uh, did the thing come in? Hey, let's go. Doing any fighting in the streets? Are you a, a combo Ken? Do another typing test. It's probably going to be even worse. Yeah, I touch type. Uh, the thing I was not that great at was for the typing test, it's like I wouldn't really look forward. To the next word, so I, I'm like typing the word I'm looking at, and that definitely does not help. Do a typing test with a controller, that would it just has like the you have to move the cursor over to whatever the um <clears throat> letter you want to type is. That'd be uh, that'd be terrible. <laughs> Like, you have to be actually rate limited on that one. What is the fastest possible time or like typing speed with that? A combo of buttons on your controller? Well, does that even count? Can you even do that? I'm assuming this is something like Nintendo Switch UI. Um, and you would just have to use that. So it wouldn't allow you to do those kinds of combo inputs, I'd imagine. Roku remote control typing test. I bet there's someone out there who's actually like amazing at it for some reason. Mega Scizor? Let's go. Is Mega Scizor good? Oh, come on. That was so close. All right, we're back to the intro. See, this is my problem today. I am unable to do this one trick consistently, and so even though I can currently seemingly do wing flip, it doesn't matter because I can't get to wing flip within a time that I am happy with. I've gotten some third tries, and at this point, I don't really want a third try. You just lose like 14 seconds for free. It just feels like a bit too much. Because like 15 seconds, if I got a PB of that size, um, like I'd be happy with it. We'll just go again. Um, that's where I'd be like pretty happy with the time. 
So it just makes it so much harder. Yeah, I don't think I ever used Mega Scizor. I wasn't really much of a Scizor fan until, I mean, even now, like, it's cool. It's a cool Pokemon, but, like, at the time, or, like, back in the day, I didn't really pay it to any mind. It's trying to make you more friends. Oh, it wants you to buy more phones. Play Pokemon Go. On more devices. Yeah, to make more phones, you have more accounts. I mean, that's a pretty classic. Like, for Pokemon... Trading with yourself. <laughs> you can't rely on others. Which is kind of relevant to recent Pokemon competitive competitive Pokemon discussions. Right? There was that whole shenanigans with people getting DQ'd from worlds because of gend Pokemon. And, uh, what is it? Their recommendation was to not trade, right? Get all of your Pokemon yourself, which goes against the whole spirit of Pokemon where you're supposed to trade with other people. But if you want to be the very best at battling, then, um, You can't trust other people. Takes a minimum of 251 frames to type on Nintendo Switch keyboard. Oh wow. <laughs> 251 frames. is that a quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog nine words Link. was that the sword that seals the darkness the blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me Zelda. You trust no one not even yourself sword. Not using autocomplete. Oh, yeah. I wonder... Okay. But the thing is, if you're allowed to use autocomplete, how... How much does that change? Sphinx of Black Quartz. Judge my vow. Wow. That is definitely more... More edgy, yeah. You also have to type in a comma. Hey, what's up, Kashiwa? Welcome in. better because of the speedrunning strats Will 
you regret if you shop for winter boots online? Maybe? I don't know. If they don't fit, you gotta go to the post office. Could you like... I don't know. But the post office is a Pokemon gym. Wait, then this works out. In fact, intentionally buy a pair that is the wrong size. So you can go to the post office. Brother Wild's your favorite just for wind bombs? Yeah. Wind bombs are great. Hundred and forty three frames, not bad. A first try. Such a rare occurrence these days. These days, of course, only includes today. Because yesterday I was getting first try decently often at the beginning. I wonder how much variance there is. For like, because the thing is, for typing time, um, using a keyboard with your fingers, uh, you can access all letters at roughly the same speed, right? Where if you're typing on like Switch. You actually have to move the cursor over. So it's more punishing if you've got letters that are spread out. Oh, good luck, Minduino. Don't PV. Don't worry, we've got another like 30 minutes, 35 minutes, it's fine. Good luck showering, hey. Why not? Switch keyboard supports touch. Uh, we'll just ban touch screen usage. That's cringe. Nobody uses the touch screen. As in, I don't use it, so therefore, nobody does. This will be switch typing restricted. That's the category. Okay, so I think it'll move the wing out of the way. So I have to place another. Which is fine.
I am getting a lot better at that. <clears throat> oh, hello, Draco. Thank you for the good luck. Still a fifty eight. Got him. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> that's why I did it. That's why I yawned. How does it feel? <laughs> Good evening, ineptitudinous. No yawning. All right. Sounds good. A little bit of Zuggle overload. Yeah, that'll definitely wake me up. How was that 2.5 seconds? I guess it was like a 58, so... Fair enough. <clears throat> but that other run was 7 seconds ahead of this run right now. Absurd. Unbelievable. Personally, I wouldn't recommend 
Zoas as a as a drink. Suggle overload arrow smuggle. I don't think it would taste very good. Tree branches, you're right. Um, is that even worth it? Should I have gone for the other thing? The, uh, the other thing being the tree branch that's right here. It's guaranteed to be dropped from this bush, surely. At this point, I already have the tree branches I need, so. so I almost sorted the inventory and then didn't drop the thing, which would have been really awkward. It's like, yeah, okay, let me sort my inventory for later. while I'm falling to my death. Two fifty nine, and it's fine. If we don't play tonight, you're returning it. Oh boy. High stakes. How does it feel? True, I would have just like Jordan's. Mm -hmm. Nice and clicky. <clears throat> Can you Miku game with that? Yes. It is compatible with the Switch. I think. Right? What was I typing? Nothing. I was pressing the buttons on my... <laughs> Snack box micro. update either.
I'll have to do that later. Well, what can you do? Simply don't make that mistake. I was one it was one input away. I just whatever. I was thinking too much. Yeah, I dropped it. I literally um like Link did the jump slash and then hit the like ledge which canceled the jump slash which means I was so close to it actually working right obviously doing that jump slash at all was not intentional um you're supposed to have the jump slash be canceled immediately but um oof cuz I I was right next to the shrine it's fine Just a silly little dead run. <clears throat> you can hear the metronome. Can you actually? No. MZ has super hearing. Always check um, on those kinds of runs. These days, I check like, oh, what was my best split times, or how did this compare to my best split times, just to see. And so that one was like almost the best I've ever done up to that point, because I was only one second behind my my best ever split time. Which, is that the best way to look at things? Maybe. Does it really matter? Not really. Because I can always do better. But. You have super hearing enabled and you also don't hear the metronome. Oh, so MZ's like... Hearing things. Got it. <clears throat> Going a bit crazy. Too much Mega Miku gaming.
could buy a controller specifically for Project Diva for $439. What are they putting in that controller? How is it worth that much money? Miku herself is probably in there. I guess. You should get the Ima emote. Hmm. You know, Mikey, you should get it first. It's supposed to be like the actual arcade game. Well, I didn't know there was an actual arcade game, so... Okay, wait, wait, here it is. I will redo it. Okay, this is me. Listening to the metronome while not doing the other inputs or the I'm not doing inputs to match the metronome. Can you guys hear it? This is a pretty sick beat. If you can't hear it, you're missing out. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, it's one thirty five BPM, one beat for measure. Just a constant clicking. Huh? Kind of rips. <laughs> All right, now what if I do this? <gasps> Pretty sick, right? fast tempo yeah you need to gain a fair amount of height because you're going from the like one shrine to the other shrine and they're at different like B coordinates um, and to go from shrine level at use to shrine level at ultra hand you need to gain I don't know I don't remember how many units of height, but it's, um, it's quite a bit. So the max, or, I didn't actually check. I think the max BPM you can do before you, uh, before it doesn't work, like you're doing the inputs too fast, is probably around 145. It's somewhere between 145 and 150 BPM, and so I'm at 135. And the faster you do the inputs, the more height you gain each time. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty close to that upper limit. I 
couldn't hear it until I started bopping my head with it. Ah. Oh. It's like a, it's a hint. And so you need more of a suggestion. It's like how um, flavored water is. Right, if you drink it, you might not be able to tell, but then somebody tells you there is supposed to be like lemon flavor, and then you're like, oh, yes, you're right. What software do I use? Uh, OBS. The open broadcaster software. Broadcasting. You're a flavored water fan. See, I... I'm not a fan. Because I can, like, taste it. But it's such a small amount of flavor that I'm like, I'd rather just have the water by itself. And so the problem with it, like, if it wasn't... Like, if I didn't notice it at all, then it would be fine. It's just water. But... Yo, what's up, Voldemir? That was a quick second try. Found an even more expensive controller. Well, you were talking about buying... What was it? Some boots. And, you know, I was thinking to myself, man, buying boots boots for the snow. What's that useful for? But, you know, a $500 controller. Now I can see the value in that. <laughs> I mean, snow is a myth, right? Who needs boots when you have flip-flops? How long until someone releases a ROM hack to make the cutscenes skippable? I think it already exists. But, um, it's not legal for speedruns. You may now PB, thank you. I was waiting for the, um, the go ahead. This should be good, right? Yeah, this is really good. I don't think I saw an autosave.
yeah, I don't really see it being accepted as an option. Um, and like, if anything, it would probably be like a separate leaderboard or something. Maybe. Or is it a... F I'm thinking of like how... For Sunshine, there's like the hacked file. Wow. You thought they banned hacked file? Um, I'm pretty sure you're allowed to use it still, right? Uh, what even is the sunshine like? Sunshine. Oh, SMS, obviously. Yeah, timing method, hacked file. Okay, it's just a filter on the leaderboard. So you can, it's like all of the runs at the top use hacked file, but the second place runner at the moment also does runs on uh, from new file and has gotten very close. Yeah, it's like he has a 113.17 with hacked file and a 113.26 without it. Tubuo. Yo, what's up, haha? How are you doing? Wowie zowie. <clears throat> Probably because he can get like 5,000 times more runs in with the hacked pile. Well, the thing, what I'm pointing out is that, uh, he runs both, and it's very impressive that running with the new file, he's got such a good time. Like, it's a difference of like 10 seconds or something. Mod versus save file both require the same level of access for now. Mm -hmm. Do you do any percent different versions? Um... I've done any percent on 1.0, 1 1.1, 1 1.2, and 1.2.1. So technically the only version I haven't run any percent on is 1.1.2. But currently, like the only ones I'm going to ever run any percent on from now on, it's going to be 1.0 because it's the fastest, and then eventually I'll do current patch, probably. 
because that is the most recent version and has a different leaderboard. Good old days. Yeah, people couldn't just update. <clears throat> They'd release the game and then that was it. Waiting for you to get 1.2.1 world record to update the game to 1.3. Oh. OT has like three patches. But once you buy the game, they can't issue an update. So there are like multiple versions but it's not like uh, you're given access to change them other than buying a separate cartridge. Which, you know, has its own accessibility issues. But hey, running old games. We'll do that to you. be something. Honestly, it would solve some issues, I guess. <clears throat> kind of. Not really. Have they updated the physical copy yet? Shipped out the 1.2.1? Because that Cartridges. Cartridge. Be a fire level. Haven't heard anything. <laughs> Waiting for Nintendo to tell us, yes, we are done patching the game. Give the go-ahead. All right, a quick second try. He's good enough. Have you ever... No, help. I tried to kill a spider and it literally vanished. Um... Good luck. You may already be dead.
That one I just completely missed the button. Like I didn't I just pressed B. Didn't hit Y at all. <clears throat> Well, you know, sometimes you just aren't fit for the job. And instead, you have to pivot. wasn't meant to scare away cats because really like oh, why do you need to scare away cats that seems like a bad idea oh no way we're inside of the wing let's go Are you guys ready for the for a pad slide? Right? It it's gonna happen, right? Yes. Am I ready? I am. I think I just have to jump. And it'll work. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, the floor is lava is uh it is a very cool section. Quite neat. If your floor was lava right now, what would you do? I would simply perish. Die. Melt away. You have a water bucket. <laughs> Wait, I've got a water bottle. Is that good enough? 
Yeah, I, I mean, I haven't played Minecraft enough, so I don't think I could maneuver quickly enough. I don't have that practice. Just open up a portal to the nether. No big deal. Don't mind me. Mm. Better go slay a dragon. Mm. Oh, well, do you think that, um... Do you think that Spotify playlist Minecraft tutorial is was on anyone's, like, Spotify wrapped? the tutorial. It's actually how he got so good. Did you guys know that Icarus is actually one of the ships you can fly in Wipeout, the, uh, the racing game? And it is a very fast ship, but has like no shields. heard of Wipeout? Classic. Unsurprised. Ah uh, yeah, Death Couch, it's a pretty recent thing. I should have checked for the other branch. Ooh. 
Where is this going to place me? Uh, probably a terrible idea. Three oh five. Yeah, this is terrible. Because oh. I've already lost like ten seconds. I can still be ahead. That's a good... Mm. A good thing. Well, I will have to drop that later. It's fine. Okay, my 7 TV is just like not working. Because I can't really see the, the emotes. <laughs> or some of the emotes at least. Uh, yeah, I didn't aim right of the shrine, that's why I landed so far left. Oh. Maybe it's because it's an unlisted emote. I'm just thinking, like, I might have my settings for FFZ set to not show those or something. I don't know if that's a thing. Yo, what's up, EMP? <laughs> yeah, it's because I don't have any arrows. Exactly. Mm. Uh, but yeah, that's called Arrow Smuggle Flight. And so the menuing I did in Fuse was to set this up. No way. No way, I had it. That is so stupid.
I literally had it. I j and I thought I pressed the buttons, but apparently not. I got the setup so quickly. Whatever, man. Oh, whatever. What can you do? It was a Boston. He just didn't jump. I did the the slash and then no shield jump came out and then I moved forward. Oh, this is gonna be so far away. Oh, I didn't lose time to the old strat, but I did lose time to the new strat. Uh... Okay, right here, I'm going to remember... Do that, which is good, because that means that I didn't accidentally place an extra wing. Hello, wide geese. You thought Aero Smuggle Flight was only 1.2. Um, so, Aero Smuggle Flight is available on all versions of the game because Aero Smuggle can be set up in quite a few different ways. 1.2 just has the fastest method for setting it up uh, called Quick Smuggle. And the reason it's called that is because it's a quick way to set up arrow smuggle which i guess you can also use it for other like it's not just arrow smuggle but bomb boarding so yeah it's just like faster to set up on 1.2 But people have really optimized the methods for setting it up on 1.0. And then you can even do it on 1.2.1. Oh, yeah, I got it. Only speedrun Breath of the Wild, not Tears of the Kingdom. Fair enough. Breath of the Wild is a good game to speedrun. And Tears of the Kingdom can definitely be... unfriendly. Uh, 21. Yeah, sure. I have yet to notice that. Interesting. Use that as evidence. <clears throat> Bit of a detective. Well, sir, there was the the footprints were already there. It couldn't have been Link. I may, might make you drink soon. See, this is... This is weird. 
the hydrate command is not a... There is no obligation on my end. It is a reminder to hydrate. Because that is a... A uh, healthy thing to do. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, let's go, dude. Pretty huge gaming right there. Look at this. Oh, oh, he's switching. Switching over to the wings to drop the wing, right? Right? It, like, it, it's gotta be. That That's what I would guess. No, it's to drop the ruby. Well, whatever. It is what it is. Um, in terms of best split times, yeah, that wasn't too bad. It would have been like a 29 2x, which is perfectly acceptable. But we'll just do it even better this time. Yo, it's a John Titor. <laughs> Thank you for the 15 months. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it again. It's fine. Um, and the reason that even happened, so basically with snapback, while yes, it is a controller issue, you can play around it. And so normally that's not an issue, uh, and I tend to not get hit with snapback that often, because the way you do the inputs, you can avoid like letting go of the stick, I guess, in a way that makes it snap back so hard. And the reason that happened right there is because I forgot that I thought the menu was to the right. And so I initially tried to open the menu, go one to the right. And then I realized afterwards that it's actually a left input when I saw the menu. And so I did a quicker left tap than I should have. But uh, yeah, never trust anyone, even yourself, to make the inputs happen. Oh, come on. Hey, what is up, Veg? Hope friends have been kind today. They... They've been all right. How are you doing? Hope you have a nice weekend. Oh, see ya, Austin. Thanks for stopping by. Speedrunning Great Sky Island. I am speedrunning any percent. The Great Sky Island is simply the first half of that. You'll take all right. That's good, because I, I don't have anything else to, to give you. Oh, see ya, Elixie. Thanks for the good luck. You got family in town, so you're socializing. Well, welcome back. Oh. Hope that all went well. the real world hmm yes this is the real world isn't it <clears throat> hmm 
you got pizza out of it. That's a win. You had pizza today too. No way. Is it Pizza Friday? Why was I not informed? You also, oh my goodness. I did not get the memo. So I will not be having pizza, but hope you all enjoy it. You had fish. What well, that? surely it was fish on pizza. <laughs> Tofu pizza? Hmm. We'll see. We usually eat tofu on Friday. But yeah, we had pizza pretty recently, right? It was... that other day. You guys know the one that I'm talking about, right? <clears throat> Wait, that was Sunday, right? When are we having the chat pizza party? Yeah, it seems like you guys all had the pizza. Now you just need to party. That's right, Ganondorf. That's the spirit. You gotta raise the roof. <sighs> we just need a disco ball. Oh, I see ya, Proto. Thank you for the good luck. How many times do I think I've watched this cutscene? Too many. Uh... Okay, right now... I actually saw, I think these splits have like 2,300 attempts, but these are pretty new, so, where are they? Oh, I don't know. I'll just say 500, and I have no idea if that's even close to accurate, but it sounds like a large number. It's gotta be more than that, right? But the thing is, resets take a long time. But it's like 2,000. And how many of those are... dead in the first split? Here, I'll just... I'll throw out 1,000. 1,000 times watch this. Which is... roughly like 6,000... No, wait. 
it's six minutes. A thousand times. Six thousand minutes. <clears throat> that can't be right. Or could it? Somebody else do the math. But yeah, doing pretty well, JP. How are you? Zelda fell. Yeah, she really fell off, didn't she? I mean, like, back in the day, she was able to conjure light energy to fight the Calamity for, like, a hundred years. Now, not so much. I was thinking, like, a hundred hours, which sounds like a lot. I've played this game for about a thousand hours. I shouldn't have tried the jump slash, but... So, for one tenth of that to be the intro, kind of makes sense, right? But would it make sense to have a larger percentage be the intro? Yeah, I did such a good job of watching the intro that I'm going to do it again. <clears throat> you only have like 110. It feels like you play a lot. Yeah, I, I played this game a lot. She had the Triforce in Breath of the Wild. Is that confirmed? I thought they kind of got rid of the Triforce. As like an actual thing. Really? Okay. Some of these Ken combos in the combo trials are nice. Uh-oh. I'm about to get cooked. This guy is... He's gaming. I've been consuming more Street Fighter content. And I was looking at some of, the, <laughs> some of the videos of like, oh, here's Street Fighter 6. Here's a uh, tier list. And then, no way, they put Zangief at the bottom? They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> How could they do that? Have you been fighting in the street, though? Uh... Yeah, not really. That's my problem. It's too easy to just like stream, play this video game, and then uh, after stream, go eat, and then sit on my laptop. Not playing Street Fighter. Oh, have a good night, Mindwino. And have a good night, Beer. Thanks for the good luck. 
Yo, that is... That is Zangief. Although a little bit smaller in stature than I was expecting. There's just no way. Zero chance. End stream early for Street Fighter. Just end the stream with some Street Fighter. That's something maybe I should do for the tax write-off. So I can be like, yeah, I actually bought Street Fighter and that controller because I'm a streamer. So I stream those games. You'd be so down for that. I wonder how different it would be though. Cause like if you're streaming a with speedruns, it's very easy to read chat. Um, for me, at least with the speedruns I'm doing. Because it gives me a lot of Well, basically the, the segments are always the same. Right. You don't really have to be paying as much attention you can glance over at chat more but with something like smash or you know a fighting game the the opponent is actually trying to fight you and adapt choose different options so it'd be much harder But yeah, we'll see. You don't have to talk to us, we're lame anyway. I appreciate that. The uh the permission. <clears throat> Thank you. Lame lame is like the fish. Sometimes it's good. That's like three or four times. Wh what? You're not lame. That is true. You do have, what is it, Gengar? Were they Gengar sweats? That is the opposite of lame. That's the part where you say, no, you guys are cool. Oh, well, my bad. I'll remember that for next time. <clears throat> you thought he was a little guy. No. See, Ghastly is the little guy. Yeah, I think he is a little bit larger than I expected, but... But not too much.
Yeah, what does Ginger think of Gengar? Are they pals? What is that? <laughs> she ignores him. Well, I guess Gengar is a ghost, so. Four eleven. people or what? No, this thing's not plugged in. But I should try that. Set up Street Fighter um, and then actually just play it during the intro. And by play it I mean just have like training mode open. also weighs 89 pounds. That is more than I would expect for a ghost type. Yeah. Is he a ghost? Yeah, he's a ghost poison type. Evolves from ghastly. <laughs> yeah, there's normal type and fighting type. Fighting type is for when you punch people. And you can punch normal people very well. That's why fighting is super effective against normal. Or kick people, that's true. Or spin at them. There's Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan, and Hitmon Top. You just YOLO it? I don't know how important type matchups are in Pokemon Go. But if you want to be a Pokemon master, then you should probably learn. <clears throat> Is 
Is Ganondorf dark fighting? Definitely dark type. And I could... I could see the fighting type. But... Maybe dragon. Actually, after evolving, definitely dragon type. Dark dragon. But... Base form, maybe pure dark, is what I'd say. I missed the button. But I got the double branch, so... We're... Good on that front. <clears throat> hey, how's it going, Moist? Thank you for the good luck. Is Dragon a Type 2? Ah, uh, yeah. We have... What are the... There's like 18 types right now. If I try to name them all, let's see. Grass, water, fire, electric, bug, dark, psychic. Oh no, I have to play the game. That's a good cue to try it again. Okay, wait, wait. <clears throat> yeah, Tears of the Kingdom did get in the way. I'm trying to, like, list all of the, the type... Not the type combinations, but the all the types. <clears throat> and the intro is a perfect opportunity to do that. Once I actually get there. Okay, I'll, I'll restart once we enter the cutscene. Yo, what's up, LMJax? Thank you for the good luck. Dude, my type matchup knowledge is like not that good. Dude, the other day I thought ice type was good against bug. Big L. Think that? I know, right? You see in Antarctica where there's a thriving bug community. Because they are not bothered by the the cold. Preemptive good night <laughs> if you do fall asleep. Okay, here we are. Fire, water, grass, electric. Uh we'll go normal fighting ghost. Psychic dark. Dragon fairy steel. Rock ground. And then... Ice. Um... I don't think I said ice before.
Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters two left against my power. Ah, bug poison flying. Yeah. Zelda. You who carries that fragile sword. It's funny because I actually mentioned bug type um before this. And so, forgetting that one is. How do you know our names? Classic. Uh, and then yeah, flying and poison. Oops. Monotype flying. Yeah, that one's weird because like most of the flying type Pokemon, it's paired with something else. Because otherwise, well, more like most of the the birds are like flying normal. If it's just like a bird, they don't generally get them pure flying type. Yeah, I, I definitely jump to Tornadus. Well, I guess first I did get that one wrong because I was like. I'm just gonna name a flying Pokemon, like some bird from one of the generations, and then it was wrong, and I was like, wait. Yeah, okay, Tornadus. I didn't think enough. <clears throat> Wait, is Rookity pure flying? Interesting. I mean, I guess that is a case where it makes sense to not have it be normal flying, but like. Does that mean like Fletchling is a normal flying type and then it becomes fire flying? See, that's so deceptive, not actually deceptive, but uh, that's why it's kind of tough. Cause like these bird Pokemon that you jump to, um, We'll just have normal type added on almost every time. Moltres can use Burn Up. Can also use Roost, probably. And Roost gets rid of your, like, flying typing. Is that true? Or am I making things up? Did they ever make a pure flying type? Yeah. Sure does. I I wouldn't want to spread misinformation about Pokemon and on the internet. That would be tragic. Oh, the double branch. Um, but yeah, they did. The genie. Tornadus. Tornadus. With the prankster. Tailwind. It 
Jimny is bug type. True. What are the cricket Pokemon? Didn't they add like low kicks? Is like a grasshopper. This should be fine. Uh, yeah, we're probably fine. Does the duplication trick that I use still work? No. You have to use a different version of... Or you have to use a different glitch for duplication. Which is quite a bit slower. Struggle bug. <laughs> yep. MZ is learning. Yeah, we'll just use another. <clears throat> oh no, not again. It's probably the same guy, same Metagross. You'll get him one day. Oh, that one almost didn't work. <sighs> Whew. I almost messed that one up. Actually threw balls at this one. Smoge. What are the catch rates in Pokemon Go? They're made up. True. Beldum. Dude, no way. Vague was just trying to get me to to say dumb Beldum. have an ailment called I throw the ball and completely miss. <laughs> oh no. Depends on how well you throw the ball. Interesting. Uh, favorite Pokemon? Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, but it takes so many candies to evolve it. The candies come from catching like the same Pokemon, right? Over and over. At that point, you might as well just catch the Metagross. You save yourself a bunch of... Pokemon captures. Oh, have a good night, Vague. Hey, what's up, Matt? Yo. And hello, Dr. Dilly. Welcome in. If you were a gym leader, what type would you be? I would be a normal type gym leader. Maybe. Norman. <laughs> Yeah, normal, normal type gnomon. Oh wait. <clears throat> Look, you gotta watch out. Like, normal types got some pretty cool Pokemon. I'd bring in. Grandpa to burn your house down. Okay, I don't think I got the dupe there. Oh, I did. Wait, I'm gaming. You'd use Regigigas? Are you even allowed to use legendary Pokemon as a gym leader? I feel like that's against the rules. Somehow. Mill tank is the best normal. What is that gym leader's name? Hello, where is Ruby? Oh, come on, man. That is actually a good spot. Yeah, Whitney. Whitney Spears. That's fine. Wait, okay, you've got Drampa. There's like Grafii now with uh, the normal poison type. Ooh, ghost normal. Hisuian uh, Zoroark. You could get a pretty fire team. 
Lots of variety nowadays. You'd be a steel type <laughs> gym leader with six things weak to fire. Hmm. I mean, that's the life of a gym leader, right? That was really good. gross but oh that's fine that's kind of unfortunate though the fact that well i should have done probably one more jump attack but... oh hello judge that was bad well it was like three four seconds slower than it could have been overall pretty decent but so world record for no amiibo can probably go down to like a 42 maybe like a 42 mm. ox but then there's like Hi. I don't get it.
basically I don't want an angle like that because that angle is super slow. Uh, you probably lose like My guess would be like 8 seconds or something, if you get a, a terrible angle on this. Where something like that would be really good. If I could just do that consistently. So maybe I'll switch to this other setup. Um, Because yeah, right here, so the setup I was using, because I could not, like I couldn't get this to be consistent. I don't know what other people are doing with it, but uh, I was just not getting a good launch every single time. Because inherently, if you if you go like this, right, and you hold left, Link will never actually get fully stopped by the, the wall, even though this is like a corner. So I don't know what people actually use to guarantee like a good position. See, like, that is not what I want. Because it, it looks like it could be a good setup, but then I just don't quite know how to make it consistent enough. Where this other spot, what I've been doing is, so I throw aim, and then Link's right foot, you can see it's like, there's this, um this texture and so I line up Link's left foot with the like bottom of it. So right here this might actually work really well. But um, because it's such a slight difference um, and with the the way like yeah this controller you know it's got a dead zone so trying to like nudge Link a little bit can be really difficult. Especially where it's like difficult to do it quickly. Which is why it was so... <sighs> That's why like it took a while and then I got it and it's like, you know, whatever. I'm already probably losing time because the entry was like four seconds slow. Well, actually at that point I'm not losing time, but I'm not saving time. So really, like it would have been okay, but um, okay, maybe the plan is to move Link diagonally. Actually, that that makes sense. Oh yeah, uh, basically the reason it's finicky is because we're trying to land on the ledge, right? There's like this corner, and the corner is magic because you get a very fast angle, but the thing is, it is also very small. And so to land on the right spot, it, uh, it basically, what I'm thinking is if you move diagonally, then, right, if I move Link straight forward, right, he's facing this way, if I move him this way, then all of that movement is going in this direction. But if I move him diagonally, right, you can see he's no longer moving as, like, far in the direction he's facing, which means I should maybe be able to have a more precise movement without having to move as, like, small a distance. In practice, who knows if that actually helps. Like, even that's fine. There is a perfect angle uh, that I've gotten a couple times here, but... But yeah, even just like a an angle that is pretty fast, like as long as it's not super slow, then I'll take it. I mean, I'll take whatever. Like, this would be fine. Even though it's not perfect. It's just... Man, I, I don't get it. 
That was such a good run. Uh, almost sub 20. Sub 20 is definitely doable. I mean, look, this is like seven seconds behind my best or six seconds behind my best ever ascend split time. So if you just add on seven seconds or I guess subtract seven seconds, you can get sub 20 views. Whatever. <clears throat> I'd go like this and then... I'm pretty sure this is good. Right, like that was a really good launch. That's what I want. Um, but yeah, it's like... Always a learning moment. If I can get my setup to be more consistent, then that is a win. Uh, I need to actually jump in the right direction. Also, the reason it even, like, the reason I messed up so badly in that one is because I, I wasn't holding forward. Like, I got the shield jump, but Link was not... He didn't shield jump forward, and so instead of getting a good launch, he just kind of bounced like straight up in the air, which is a total like that is not at all what I want. So, you ran out of gum. What kind of gum were you chewing? Was it five gum? <clears throat> yeah, see I'm getting I'm getting good launches now. Good segue for today's sponsor. Yeah, I wish. Not because, like, I think 5-gum is better than other gum. I don't really consume gum, but uh, it's a 5, and 5 is cool. Fruit by the foot? Yeah. You'd shove an entire roll in your mouth. You... Should be studied. <clears throat> oh, do you mean? Yeah, okay, no, no, no. Wait, is it the hubba bubba bubble tape? Yeah. What do you mean, stick a whole roll in your mouth? That is way too much. What? Entire roll? No. That is some psychopath behavior. <laughs> it's just gum? We're talking- okay, the container is like this large, right? Wow. Uh, well... Interesting. <clears throat> It was it was for a good cause. I figured out how to do it better than before. Even if it cost me my best ever run. Uh, that would probably not be it. T 
dude, you see how fast that is? Ah, it's so good. Man, I just got to do the first part of the speed run again. And then I'll be set. I'm going to get like a an insane gold. Why is it called a stick of gum if it's a rectangle? Because... Uh, you stick it in your mouth. I don't know. This is one of the many things I do not know in this world. What even is a stick? What is the definition? We call... Tree branches, those are sticks. What did I change in the setup? Uh, basically, I was having this issue where it's hard to move Link precisely, little bits, which you can see here, because of the dead zone of the controller. Just getting these minor adjustments is tough. And so there's this texture I'm lining up Link's left foot with. And so if I move him in the direction he's facing, yeah, getting those like slight adjustments is harder. And so trying to line up with the visual cue is is difficult to do quickly. Um, and I tend to overshoot. And then from there, if I do the shield jump, then Link will not land on the ledge. And so what I did is instead of moving Link in the direction he's facing, I have the camera so that I move him diagonally. That way he's not moving in the direction he's facing as much. Right? Because he's moving diagonally, so uh, it should be easier to get that precise visual cue lined up. And so yeah, it seems like I'm getting better launch angles with it with like a faster setup Do they still sell those gum tapes? Probably. Right? A long, thin piece of something. Well, you know, gum generally is pretty thin what is that yeah uh, packages generally it'll be like this maybe it depends on the there's like trident is it isn't it trident layers <laughs> those ones always seemed cool to me but they were at pretty small. I think it's because they were, they were like multicolored, right? They had layers. And so that was appealing visually. There was the hubba bubba that had two colors, like the inside. Was that the it was like a rectangle, the darkness, and it had like the an inner color, and then so my power. I think I remember that. Yeah. Zelda. You carry 
use that fragile your mother would not let you have them yep Roro placed his faith in you and that was all sounds about right how do you you were never allowed to have names. gushers growing up no way gushers are good They suck? No. Wrong. I've actually had them somewhat recently. As in, in the past couple years. Also, your mom banned Tootsie Rolls, but that was apparently because she thought they were gross. Well, she's right on that one. The amount of sugar in those are insane. Yeah, see, that's why you just don't think about it, right? You don't look at the amount of sugar that they put. You're already eating, like, cinnamon toast crunch or other cereals. Or, um, you're drinking soda. Look, if it tastes good, then it tastes good. Tootsie Rolls are goaded. I don't stand for the slander. Wow. They definitely aren't. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Miracle Berries? I... not to my knowledge. You like Swedish fish? For some reason. Well, I, I enjoy Swedish fish. Those are good. No way that didn't work. Come on. You're pulling my leg. Here it is. <clears throat> and for 15 minutes, sour things taste sweet. Oh, yeah, no, I've heard of that. But no, I've never, never tried it. Wait, have you done it? Does it work? Well, presumably it works, but... really fun oh okay this is the this is the play you make like a so you're like a content creator in this hypothetical hypothetical situation you put up a sub goal for like eat a lemon 
which is something people offer up as a an incentive for some reason. But then you get these miracle berries so that when you eat that lemon, it isn't actually bad. And then you just act as if it is. Yeah, I don't know why... Like, eating a lemon or eating, like, an onion... Why is that such a popular thing that people offer up? Um, the thing that comes to mind for me is when people do... Like, campaigning for Smash Summit. Which, um... You know, Summit is no longer a thing, but people would have like, yeah, if we reach this many votes or something, then I will eat an onion. It's like, I don't want to see you eat an onion. What is that? Yo, what's up, Will? I'm, uh, I'm having a pretty good day. I hope you are too. The runs are pretty, they're like... They've mostly been pretty mediocre, but there have been a couple of, like, really good ones, so. Eat a pickle for a sub goal. Like a... Like a... A pickle? I'm... I'm happy for her, I guess. First time eating a pickle. Yeah, pickles are good. I feel like I remember... Pickles being brought up while I was running uh trial of the sword that might be in my pb still <clears throat> you want to see me eat an onion well you will not get that and that was all you could do she was not happy. I well, games. I could understand if it was like a sweet pickle. I don't know why sweet pickles exist. I just remember in high school, there'd be like burger day for lunch and I would actually have to tell them no pickles because the pickles were sweet and so when I'm expecting a like a salty a good pickle and then I get it and it's sweet it's like yikes. get that out Do you like relish? I've never really eaten relish. It's one of those things that's like... I don't know if we have any anymore, but it would sit in the fridge. And my impression of it was that it was never used. Which might not be true. My dad, I think, was the only one who would actually eat relish. So I don't know if was actually getting like cycled out but uh, yeah if you don't like sweet pickles you probably won't like it then that would probably be my take
They also blew up a microwave. That's hype. It's your, um, your science experiment. What happens if we microwave aluminum foil? Yup, there it is. Oh, come on. Give me the double, double branch. <sighs> Gotta have a repeat performance from last time. shall receive. Yeah, my brother has a panini press. It is fancy. Thank you, MZ. Drop in the knowledge. Surely that works. Impressive. Oh, get it? I get it. <clears throat> oh, 
Uh, hello. That is so dumb. Well, um, it is what it is. What can you do? Except try again next time. Yeah, I didn't get the rusty broadsword. And so, without the rusty broadsword, I'm going to need to grab another tree branch. And then perform a different series of attacks to disarm this construct to get the bow. Overall, pretty lame. A low lepus. <clears throat> My dream about Tears of the Kingdom. Not, not really. Smells like no man. That's weird. How can you? How can it smell like somebody else? They didn't actually do a good job with smell of vision. It's not real. Scratch and sniff. No, thank you. That's fine. <clears throat> I saw somebody else do a thing. I think it was when I was watching Red Slay's run. I think he did like three hits with the, the tree branch and then switched to the, um, decayed master sword. Yeah, I guess one of the awkward things here is that I have to, um, normally I have the rusty broadsword equipped, which is a sharp blade. Which means it can cut down, or it can like cut bushes. And so I need an extra tree branch, but the bush that I would normally cut, I can only cut with the decayed master sword. So I'd have to like swap weapons to do that. Do I still play for fun? Um, I'm having fun right now. <clears throat> I 
Oh, Link's having a little bit too much fun. Okay. That's fine. Um, I'm just losing a lot of time. But the question is, how much time? Oh, that's like 10, no wait, that's like 15 seconds. Uh, which at this point is probably more than I should take. And I should probably reset it. I finally got around to learning AMQ Demon Dragon. Let's go. You can hit... You can one cycle all four eyes. Oh, is that the thing I remember seeing? I thought there was like a a strat for that. For all dungeons at some point. But nowadays people just do the pocket rocket. The gold sword thing. That's pretty sick though. <clears throat> oh, have a good night, Zist. saving time. Okay, but I get to try out the new 
uh, strategy for this next lineup, I guess. New strategy pog. It's gonna look very similar to the old strategy. And you know, for how fast the setup was. That's fine. Good enough. Um, yeah, you can get an even better angle, but still good. Forty-four. Now that is fast. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, hello, Dandyish. If you run this route, you don't think you could avoid the intrusive thoughts. Honestly, just practice it and do it. And then, yeah, you get style points. Is it even faster? Not a, or it's not going to be faster than getting a good launch angle in the first place. But if your launch angle isn't that great, I could see it being um, comparable. Well, actually, maybe it would be a little bit faster with like a middling launch angle. The thing is. At that point, you probably just drop it and then do another bomb jump instead on the slope. And that's probably better, but it doesn't look as cool, so...
forgot to eat dinner. Just have um, some chips or something. <laughs> More like breakfast now. That's not that late. I've thrown it. So that was a really good... Yeah, 320. That could have been like 319 or 318. How did I know? I feel like this has come up before. Oh my goodness. What is going on? Blink is just not placing the bombs. He's not dropping them. <clears throat> Dude, that should have been easy gold. But, whatever. Yeah, he is not ready to drop bombs. Um, that's part of the M&M &M mom spaghetti. It's been a rough day, hasn't it? And not really. I mean, I'm playing well. Not every run is going to be B.
Hello, Borumi. I mean, yo, it is the uh, a Zelda game. Can't really expect <clears throat> every game to compete with that level of hype and popularity. But yeah, Metroid, I mean, Metroid has like a lot of fans. Uh, it just, they don't eat quite as well. But the, um, Oh, is it the prime remaster was like really good from what I've heard but yeah that's that's Monty Mole <laughs> isn't it so nice that Zelda like waits for Link barely played on the first uh the first on GameCube yeah and it looks really nice <laughs> it's crazy because like the prime remaster is probably the best looking game on switch Yo, what's up, Court? <clears throat> he would literally freak out. Clouded, I think maybe you should not run AMQ then. Not, you know, not to spoil anything, but maybe you'd enjoy a, a shorter category that doesn't do you, like old castle. IL. Zelda. Good luck.
faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? your geef butter churning yeah a little bit also i realized that maybe i should be i was thinking like i should press up with my left thumb because i feel like this button layout makes me think that i'd want to use the left hand for like all the directions but then maybe the right thumb like, up is placed in a spot where you could use either. And maybe it makes more sense to use the right thumb for jump. Is that a snack box? Yeah. It is. It is a very neat contraption. I'm trying to learn some Street Fighter. Although, at the moment, I'm not trying particularly hard. It's nice on JP. I've been watching some Brian F. And... He makes JP look very, very good. But I haven't really tried out too many characters. So we'll see. How did that not work? Oh, that also didn't work. Okay, that one is fine. I think I got faked out by the camera. Because I didn't think that was going to work, and then it did. All right, we should be good. Yo, what's up, Lynx? How are you doing? Thank you for the good luck. This this is it right here. Easy. <clears throat> yeah, this one. Surely. You're attached. Normally I would say rookie mistake, but in this one instance, you've made the right the right call, the right move.
Oh, hello, Re. Doing good, nice. Yeah, I've been doing pretty well. Uh, I had a lot of good starts today. Started off a bit rough, but things got ironed out, I guess. Have you tried going for your personal worst? Uh, not yet. I haven't tried. That could be an idea, though. Personal worst. The problem is, I would have to... I would have to try to do that, right? Because using the techniques that I use right now... It would not take me an hour. No, wait. What's my worst any percent time? It's probably the five hour. Most assuredly, the five hour uh, glitchless run. So no, I've got a pretty good score to beat. Go for a personal average. Let's see what is my average according to the splits. Here we go. placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you Oh hello not Zam? Yeah, yeah, that was that was the one. Because you guys were all like Typing out pickup lines while I was just struggling. <laughs> See, the problem with average is that you can't trust the the splits to, um, to tell me what my average time should be. Because my splits think I get a 43.15 on average, which is so wrong. Like a 29.26 GSI, that's like my second best GSI ever. Oh, actually by this point, third. But yeah. No way, is that Goku hitting the, the gritty? I know my... Zoomer dances. Yes, sir. What if I got into Fortnite? The new age Fortnite gaming. On the Switch, of course. IRL gritty, no. I'll pass. In phase Colgara. Dude, the the problem wasn't necessarily Colgara. Colgara was like the thing I knew how to do. It was everything else. I think the biggest issue was probably army and then like army took me the longest to learn and then after that there was Queen Gibdo was pretty bad as well as Seized Construct, maybe? Dude, the Boko phase is terrible because you, like, you get sniped by a rock out of nowhere, and then you die.
There we go. Like, literally stoning. <laughs> uh, if you ever just randomly die, instead of asking yourself, well, you don't need to ask yourself, like, what just happened, because you know, it must have been the, uh, the rock throw. Yeah, at first, I wasn't doing the... I feel like the strat I was doing for Queen Gibdo was not that... Or it was easy to get, like, swarmed. Um, phase 2. So I would randomly get, like, hit. At the end of it. But then I worked out how to actually do it well. And then it wasn't too bad. It's one of those things where it's like in Breath of the Wild, the boss rush is the hardest part to learn, but then once you've learned it, it's not too bad. And like the tricks on Great Plateau are much harder to get consistent. What are these splits? Oh, I totally forgot. Um, this is personal worst. That's right. <clears throat> My worst segments. Is what we're comparing to right now. Dude, a solid minus 102. Guys, I think this might be <laughs> Yeah, how's it going? Misery recorded. Why don't you remember the pickup lines? Because you tried to erase them from your memory and succeeded. There were some bad ones. In fact, almost... I'd say most of them were bad. Like, you guys were not cooking that hard. <clears throat> uh, let's do this. Got the double branch. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely was <laughs> I was struggling. And then I look over and all I see is uh it's I can't even conjure a bad pickup line or a pickup line at all with the Tears of the Kingdom theming. <clears throat> wow, minus 126. I'm on a roll. What's funny is that these splits, I've never done worse than losing 30 seconds. Which means that I reset a lot. Because if you were doing like a no reset, 
it's very easy to you lose more than 30 seconds. Uh, 58, I'll take it. What's the other 1%? Cloud it is holding out on us. Mm. Mm. You guys ever thought about how it's, it's called gloom? So you take damage because you're so sad that you're standing in this goop. Maybe I should quick spin that. <clears throat> And the only way to get your hearts back is by... Walking in the sun. Or eating food, which... That's pretty accurate. Oh my. <clears throat> yeah. It, it is the same thing. Well, I guess not quite the same thing. It does act differently, but visually, it's just like goop on the floor. So, no reason it could have. Couldn't have been uh, Malice 2.0. You must be in the wrong VOD because there are no pickup lines. Is this like a... Well, it's got to be... Okay, it's the first... Um, first glitch was a run, right? <clears throat> Unless it was the second stream. Surely it's not my memory that's wrong. Best pace ever, maybe? I... I mean, it's clearly not the worst pace ever. Which I guess worst segments, or like some of worst, is different from worst pace ever. 
Because your sum of worst is going to be a lot worse. Since it takes from all the speedruns you've done. All the attempts. It only takes one slip up. Are we sure it was during glitchless? Um, pretty sure. Oh, yeah, I mean, for anyone who is interested in watching those VODs, you can actually find them at the VODs channel. That's right. Over on YouTube. No, it, it wasn't. It was like the whole stream. And when I say the whole stream, I mean like... I think it started once I began... The descent into madness. Oh. Well, like, okay. That run probably spent 40, 50 minutes getting to army and then another four or five hours doing the rest. So there's like a pretty big time frame. Okay, that's fine. Seven, not too bad. There we are, 59. <clears throat> it 
It's been a while, but let me take those. Was that not the... Was it not the first, um... Glitchless stream? Or did I already have... For sub 110 and beyond in my title? It was the third. Oh. Mm, that was not very fast. I'll save time, but... Could have saved a bit more. Just kidding, we're, we're saving 30 seconds. Pretty huge. That fuse split though, kind of carrying. No way, meta, meta pickup lines. <clears throat> oh, hello, Draco Link. Hey, what's up, Camille? I, I definitely was ignoring the chat on that day. I can confirm. Keep telling yourselves that. When you're one hearts with you, wait. <clears throat> Do you have like multiple hearts or something? Should 
Should I be worried? Did my mom pick it out for me? No. Yo, a gold. Why are we bringing it back? I don't know. <clears throat> How'd this come up? That's a good question. I don't know. Oh, was it because we were talking about... We are talking about personal worst, and that was my worst run, the first glitchless PB. Okay, okay, I got it. Yeah, and apparently it wasn't even the the first day of Glitchless. It was the third day. Twenty nine seventeen is not bad. I'm too far left. I, or am I? I can't tell. I think I'm too far to the side. Shot the arrow. No, 
Come on, Link. Why does that even happen? All right, huge time loss. It's actually like 20 seconds. It's okay, we're still five minutes ahead. Uh, okay, so now 730, 180. Here we are. Oh, I'm losing so much time. <laughs> What happened to my worst? Oh, my worst? So these are all splits from... From the recent routing, I think. Right, every time I... Put in, like, new strats or it's a new route, I will... change splits. Oops. Uh, sorry to say, but this will not be a PBE. Wow. Uh, I'm surprised at how often this happens. As in, it's happened like twice so far. I'm on like really good pace. I guess this is not nearly as good of a run as last time, so. It's fine, but um. Or is it? I might be thinking of the wrong run. Cause like maybe this was pretty similar pace to the other one. I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish this out or reset to Demon Dragon. And then once that's over, I will go back, try it again, and get it first try. It's a classic by this point. Uh, 156 means I lost like 30 seconds. Um, P 
PB. Yep, sounds about right. <laughs> It is what it is. That's a good recall, though. Uh, and a good Great Sky Island. I was kind of surprised it was no gold. Yo, what's up, Meryl? I mean, 8 seconds is enough for a 42 3x, but like, at this point I want a 42 2x. But... Yeah, I wasn't very good at getting a, a worse time than before. Oh, I was going to check the... um. Or I was going to try out the clip again. Whatever. That's fine. Ooh. Yo, what's up, Jay Herd? Welcome in. You stand by that, eh? Hey. That's right, Mikey stands firm. His beliefs. How did you do that? Was it a glitch? Uh, yeah. And it's only doable on version 1.0. And what you have to do is climb the wall at a very specific spot and then press X to jump up the wall and then he just clips out of bounds. Yeah, the shrines, um, are different in different languages. So in, like, Breath of the Wild, uh, let me think. I'm pretty sure Bombs is Jabaij, but then in, and that's in English, in every other language. Actually, it's maybe, maybe it's not every other language, but like in other languages like French, it's I think Jabashi or something. So it is not the same for all the languages. I 
take out Nacho Yeah when he gets there. I will have to get there first, which is... That's a big ask. Um, I know the names of the other shrines. Wait, actually, do I... What is Ascend? Wait, now I'm blanking. I should definitely know Fuse, right? But... In this moment in time, I cannot conjure the name. <laughs> Use ball. Oh yes, Gutenbach. And then Ina Isa. There we are. That one's fuse. Wait, is it in Isa? Either way. Good enough. I'll I'll take that. And then Ultra Hand is something else. Who knows? You're actually crying? It's fine. It's okay to cry sometimes. Let it all out. <clears throat> Ukuo. See, look, shrine names are for nerds. When I ran all shrines in Breath of the Wild, I barely knew them all. And by this point, I've probably forgotten most of them. The only ones that remain are either like easy to remember or I was going to say or they um, caused me pain, but even that might not be true. Yo, Tsunami, thank you for the five month resub and thanks for the congrats. Yeah, I'm trying to destroy that time. Because, yeah, it should be able to... ...go down by about 20 seconds. <clears throat> like, maybe 30, but we'll see. Yeah, it's been like... Or the new routing stuff has been... in the works for a while, so... it's not too surprising to see the time drop so... quickly, right now. It's a lot of work behind the scenes. With like Maz, Ergal, Ferris, uh, Clouded. There's been a lot of like Zuggle Overload shenanigans going on. It just like took a while before. People kind of put it into the run. Moglaton. Yes, Moglaton. A classic. <clears throat> huh? 
Ridahi. I can never forget Ridahi and then she upper and lower. Uh, it is a little bit faster. The Russian is the fastest language. Saving 1.1 seconds. And French is a little bit behind that, saving only 0.7 seconds. Um, but it's based on the number of text boxes you have to go through. That number is like slightly lower on French and Russian. The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Wait. Did I say that right? Zelda. Basically, there are fewer text boxes. <clears throat> by like a couple. It's okay, Nomen, you're the goat. No more names. At least one eighth the goat. Yo, how's it going, Cornflake? Are you bullying Nomen? You respected Nomen's heritage. That's good. See, people should be more like Cornflake. Oh, it, it was so funny. Uh, was it Whale who brought back the screenshot? Um, of that one kid who was like, if you're ever submitting to the Breathwald leaderboard, you better hope you get Cornflake. He's the only good one. All the other verifiers um, are just like insecure or something. <laughs> that a kid can get a better time than them. That was that was insane. Honestly, like that was fun. That was a fun time. <laughs> so yeah, just now, cornflake. The only good verifier. He said, I don't think Italians should drive. Oh, wait, Mikey, are you one eighth Italian? You're a quarter. I see. Yeah, I mean, you're just such a good guy. For verifying his run. That was the dude who was like stealing. Was he the one who stole my run or is it a different cheater? I, I'll never understand. Some people's brains. Yeah, it was like the... Uh... 
Um, they just re-uploaded one of my PBs. And the thing is, it was a pretty easy PB to, like, steal because at the time, my laptop... For some reason, I couldn't record on my laptop. And so I had to switch to my brother's PC, which is the one I'm using right now, to stream and record. But... Um... The colors are kind of washed out. I haven't really gone to try and like up the contrast or something. And so you can, you could like obviously tell which run it was. Because <laughs> I think that was the only run that I recorded on this machine back then. And it had no splits on it because um, my splits were still on my laptop. I mean, to be fair, people ask me why it's in Spanish. I always say that it's in French, but, you know, maybe he gets that question so often he was tired of correcting people. I actually had to like file a copyright claim or strike or whatever against that video. Which is so silly. It's like once you're caught. What's the point? Just take the video down. But, uh, no. You just, like, people called him out in the comments, and then... He turned off comments, and then... Basically... What was it? He was told by the, the mods... That, you know, that's not allowed, etc. But then, like, he wouldn't take it down. He unlisted the video or made it private or something. It's like... People's brains, man. What are they even thinking? <laughs> and, like, what kind of clout do you even get? Actually, one of the funniest things about it was that <laughs> uh, he submitted that run, which this was like a 2555, I think. It was the first sub 26 or something. And at the time, that wasn't my current PB, right? That would be too obvious. So he took one of my old PBs. But then he submitted it as like world record. So if you retimed the video, the submitted time was wrong because he just took world record time and dropped like a couple seconds off of that. It's like, what, what did you think would happen? They'd be like, oh yeah, no, this time that clearly when you take the beginning and end comes out to a 2555, this is clearly a like 2530. <clears throat> Got you. Here's your number one metal oh. hmm. 
now you're gonna talk about Yashi. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah, there have been some... Some cheating scandals in speedrunning. I guess those are the two that I know of for, like, Breath of the Wild. But... Oh, who knows? <clears throat> yeah, it was wild because it's like, it's literally just somebody else's video. The other example was somebody splicing, which if you're going to splice or if you're splicing, then you do actually have to put in more effort than just downloading and uploading someone else's run, but... That almost makes it worse. It actually, yeah, it might make it worse. Because you actually have to put in some effort. Oh, and the dude's um, video is monetized. Of course. <clears throat> A million dollars in red Ferrari? You know it. Yeah, I've got a Nintendo... Ferrari that I was given for getting world record in a Legend of Zelda game. Whoa. Point zero second gold. Huge. Mario branded? That'd be sick. Just has like a, a little mustache on the front. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Dude, he got so many people. Um, I think he may have gotten me with that. <laughs> oh. What name did he use? I don't I don't remember. Wait, no, he didn't. It was just Apple, right? I don't think he used a, a different name. But he, like... I think he sat through to get the splits. Like, he timed it. Uh, can we please get the, uh, the backflip? Uh, my goodness. Okay, um... Now oh, what? That's awkward. Salt man. <laughs> this is going swimmingly. Oh, sick. Um, 
Check this out. I think I probably should have waited a little longer. Essentially, yeah, like way longer. I'm going to run and grab this one. Three fifteen. I should probably not continue this because that is twenty seconds lost. So I, I like can't save time anymore. Where this is supposed to be a like seventeen second time save. Whatever, it's all right. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, Dave? Thank you for the five month resub. The backdoor branch, unfortunately. Mm. How do you force Ragdoll in Breath of the Wild? Mm. You can unequip your shield while you're shield surfing on the ground. Uh, that's like the main way to do it. It's either that or you blow yourself up. But that requires hearts. Time to fuse the rock salt to a shield. You're you're right. That's gonna happen. Was that a 58 that I saw in the corner of my eye? You thought I lost 20 seconds? I lost 21 to gold. Actually, let's see. 21.7. So, no lie. I spy with my little eye a 58 on the segment timer. Do you have a HUD or something? Yeah, I do. Oh no, my current run just has a terrible fuse. Mm. Mm. Which is why losing time to it is... not great. Uh, 
Uh, it was probably, yeah. Uh... Fourteen. Oh, gold. That's right. A new Ultra Hand gold. And by how much? One whole second. That's huge. All thanks to the rock salt. Um, well, I wouldn't say that, but. Oh, have a good night, Glitch. Thanks for watching. Perfect. <laughs> Landed on the door. to limb <clears throat> what time is it for me it is uh like 12 a.m Okay, but Lim is like very tall, so. Not really a fair comparison. Are you just friends with a bunch of giants? Yeah, basically. Seems like... Breathwild speedrunners are just, uh... tall on average. Yo, what's up, Wandrill? Seven, I lost seven seconds. Yeah, let's go. How'd that happen? Well, you can't win them all. I think I was about to gold the split again.
Oh, hello, Donut. <clears throat> yeah, this run's going all right. What's up, email? A good place to get Pokestops is past the post office and around the corner of the Tim Hortons. Oh, thank you. I'll, um... Make sure to stop by my local Tim Hortons. <laughs> that strat is very cool. Um, but I am also always worried when I do it. Yo, what's up, Moist? How was your stream? <clears throat> or, I suppose, hello again. How are the runs today? Uh, I think this is good. This one's always a bit hard to aim. Lost 46 to Dragon again. GG though. Yeah, you'll get it pretty soon. It's a classic though. Five, that's pretty good. Forgot about the salt. I I did as well. I mean it doesn't actually make a big difference. It's nice to not have a cluttered inventory, but if it's only like one extra thing, then it's not too bad. Uh eighty Sure, this is probably fine. Not quite a gold, but close enough. Yeah. <laughs> 
I should go back to hitting this guy with the stick. That was slow. <clears throat> Finally doing an intro clip. A hey, GG. That makes sense, yeah. The game wanted me to pick that up, even though there was like the, the spear as well. 47-34, nice. <clears throat> oh no. Yeah, that makes sense. Losing time. No way. Can't believe I would do such a thing. Like, actually losing time. <laughs> didn't get scammed though so you know we take that I guess <laughs> uh, right there no right there yeah no scams I guess 250 248 yeah it's a that's a pretty nice split. So. I think I had a 126 in my PB. That's a 131. Oh, that's big time loss, actually. Big, I mean, uh, I'm losing like a solid five seconds. <clears throat> At least my demon dragon's not that good. Chaffy Giant, thank you for the prime. I appreciate that. <clears throat> oh, what if I move the camera the other direction? Wouldn't that be crazy? I always pan the camera the same way. Still green. Hey, I can save another 30 seconds. If I gold. So. Just do that. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh man, I was almost done with any percent yesterday. I almost did it. <clears throat> See, the thing is, even if this run does end in a PB, that's not it. Right. I gotta gotta do another run afterwards. Whereas this time, or uh, or last night, it was like 20 seconds ahead. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, that run was was nuts. I mean, today I got a 2917 GSI as well. I forget what killed it, but that was also really good. So, like in general, that wasn't a fluke. And I just have to do it again, but... Could have been. It should have been, actually. I got scammed by this game, and I deserve compensation. <clears throat> A refund, maybe. Just kidding. When I said oh no, I meant oh yes. That worked very well. <laughs> I was a little worried because um, I didn't dip down as low as I was planning to. And so Zelda picked me up later than I was expecting. There's still time to throw. I could do it. Do the same thing I did in my casual playthrough where I just tap A instead of hold it. That's what you mean with the salt. I was like, was I salty? I, I guess I was at the end. Salty about that scam from yesterday, but. Also, yeah, this was a good Demon Dragon. Probably not a gold, though. There it is. 42 3x. Thanks for the GGs. <laughs> What a what a run. I mean like it was always green and then you know two golds is really good. But I could have golded recall and uh fuse 
I lost time. Right? Fuse is supposed to be like the, the huge time save. 17 seconds off my gold for that split. But, um... You know, that'll be for, for next run, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's a, another world record. But not quite the one I was looking for. We'll see, though. Yeah, at this point, my sum of best is a 41-44. So, oh, I don't really think we're going to be able to get to sub-42 with no amiibo. But slap on an amiibo, and then and then we're in business. This guy got so many rubies and topaz. But yeah, I'm definitely not done with no amiibo after this one, because it's just not of the caliber that I would want. And with how I've been playing, I don't think it's unreasonable to expect better. Like honestly, I could I could beat this by 20 seconds. I <clears> understand. <throat> sleeping all this time but when I felt something like a wall uh, but yeah thanks for the GG's you were awake for the PB that's true the the difference is you stayed up it's not because I got the the PB earlier in fact this is about as late as it was gonna be but uh yeah You believed, and I achieved. Yeah, thanks for the GGs. <clears throat> oh, Dandyish, thanks for the 7 bits, and MZ, thanks for the 81. Actually, it's Saturday. It's still Friday, because we haven't gone to sleep yet. That's how days work. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah, we'll, we'll do better next time. That was so silly. The, the bomb jump in ROA, and then Fuse was like... It can be so much better, man. And it will be. Soon. Oh, have a good night, Sabo. Uh, you did believe. Yeah, thanks for believing in the run. I personally... Didn't really give it too much thought. Oh, I need to take a screenshot of this. I almost forgot. Two golds, though. That's pretty good. Um, I haven't golded Ascend in a long time. But I'm pretty sure that gold was like, yeah, 0, 0.0. And then the other one was a decent gold. I was surprised you didn't ascend as a backup. See, I don't think when I play this game. So when I missed it, brain goes, oh no, you've got to try it again. The intelligent thing would be to realize that didn't work. I am now in a spot where I can ascend up. But, uh, yeah, no. Okay, but, like, ascend takes a million years, so the bomb jump was probably faster. That's my copium. <laughs> Just don't time it. 
Trust me, I have the world record. Therefore, I must be right. Let's see, wait. So I need to <clears throat> probably tweet this out. Okay, I have never seen this emoji in my life, so I will put it in the tweet. Shout out the rock salt, my bad. I gotta leave stuff for you to shout out, I guess. Free two second time save from not grabbing the rock salt. Well, you know what? I saw the ruby and I pressed A. What is that emoji? It's shaking, uh, shaking face, I think. Oh, hello, Wreck. You missed it, do it again. Tomorrow. <clears throat> I can't believe you would miss it, though. Oh, hello, Amre. Was that, like, actually... This has happened before. Is that a real autocomplete moment? Yeah, it should happen pretty soon, Zorin. Um, I've been getting some crazy pacers. Like, if we look at best split times, I was 16 seconds behind at Ganondorf. And then uh, the only reason I pulled ahead is because I actually finished the run. Yo, thank you, JM. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I mean, that's that's definitely a run. And then, yeah, 53 seconds off. Some of the best. Uh, I'll submit it because it is world record. But I might make it unlisted or something. We'll see. Yeah, it's a new world record, and it's only Friday. Well, now Saturday, but. Should be able to beat it in the next two days. Uh, the goal is probably... Hmm. Anything sub 42.30. Oh, true, yeah.
people do that? Well, it's like they take a screenshot of my upload and then put it in the personal best channel and say, look, new world record. Um, which like, I end up not posting it because I, a lot of the time I just forget, but then also, I don't know, I post it on Twitter and then can't be bothered. Man, what a banger this theme is. Oh, dude, last night... I actually don't know what I'm eating today, but uh, last night we had this, like... Is it fire chicken noodles or something? Fire chicken ramen thing? Uh, and it was, like, extremely hot. And we bought it. Didn't realize this was, like, Bulldog? Yeah. Uh, didn't realize it was, like, a thing. And so it was like, oh, they're selling some spicy thing at the local grocery store, so it's, like, not gonna be that hot, but it's a new thing, so we'll try it. And then it was it was pretty spicy. Yeah, it was the two X spicy version. As uh, my brother is a big spice fan. Is it vegetarian? It's like artificial chicken flavor. So. It might be, I'm not sure. Because I, I think it says artificial chicken on it. But you'd, you'd have to look into it, I guess. Um, but yeah, I was like... I don't know what I'm eating today, but presumably not as spicy. If only they tried to indicate that it would be spicy. But the thing is, a lot of the time, if something says it's spicy, it's not like that bad, right? And so there's this like, you can't really trust it, right? What if they're, what if they're lying? But this one was no rot, no lie, no joke, not capping. Some types of cheese are inherently not vegetarian because they use some animal fats in aging. Ah, rip. Like Parmesan. Oh, wow. Rest in peace. Are you sure you want to <laughs> want to get rid of autocomplete? I think I think you might need it. Uh, but yeah, I, I need to go find somebody to read. Hmm.
haven't been around for a raid in months. Um, let's see who to send you guys off to. You. UAMQ run starts now? Hey, I would. <laughs> if you did start stream. <clears throat> the only person streaming this late is me. See, now I have this problem where no one is streaming. <laughs> now, there, there are people, but not Tears of the Kingdom runners. Offline raid, no man, I could. Let's see. Raid Snake Eyes so we can all learn Geef. Is he actually streaming? You get Thunderblight. Have you watched um No Man's Blights tutorials? Yeah, you did. Yeah, Thunderblade can be a pretty messy because like phase two depends on how you do phase one, but yeah, that definitely could be it. Uh oh, have we night links? <laughs> Player five is streaming, yeah. Who is that clown? Um, I think I'll send you guys over to Slippery Nip again. Fireblight phase one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one... You do have to be pretty quick with it. But yeah, Slippery Nip. For some 16 star. Always a chill time. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I will be back tomorrow with some more runs. I will try my best to get sub 4230. Uh, give them some good luck. Mario is always fun to watch. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.